It's not like when uh, <laughs> niggas say you, he him. But he him, though. He don't want to be told that. I don't like compliments, period. I hate them shits. I think you're a nice guy ish. Thank Word. you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Pretty snazzy You dude, don't man. like insults. <laughs> I'll take the insults over the compliment. What? Why? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I just don't like that shit. I'm dead ass. I don't really like compliments at all. So you'll take an insult it. first, though? I could defend the insults. <laughs> There's nothing to defend not, with a compliment. No. That's why you, you don't like argue. it. You just want to fight. You want to argue. <laughs> Debate team <laughs> from men, though you saying? No, I don't like. In, I don't you know, like compliments, compliments from women. Period, really. No. Oh, I can say that I, I don't know how to take them sometimes. Yeah, like they, they just put me. In I will say I don't space. like them, but yeah, they so, put me in an awkward space. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you say thank you. I know. What you mean? But you, you know, know they, like, oh my goodness, you so. Come on, yo, stop. <laughs> I'm a shy guy. Ice, it's all right. <laughs> you got shy guy in there. <laughs> <laughs> I will be your comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, he did it. He did it. Here we go. <laughs> we don't need it no more. Um. All right. Damn, I ain't never heard that. I don't like compliments. Yeah, I don't really like them. A lot of men don't, but it's over for that. <laughs> Where you starting at, bro? I'm taking my compliments now. Hell yeah! Now I'm taking them. I don't even let them. Say, I don't. I don't say nothing. I don't say thank you. I hope that they keep going with more compliments. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, what, 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 pour now, it what else dope about me? <laughs> pour it on. Uh, yeah. Pour it on. Yo, you think? <laughs> Wait, you, you might be a bird. Bird, <laughs> You might be turning into a bird. There's the earliest we ever get the bird drop. Wait, because I, 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 I pitch for seconds. it now. Yeah, yeah, you hey, 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 when, it, when it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I put up the little meme. What well, is it said? Uh, uh, Virgo way of flirting is I'm picky and I picked you. Whatever it was, <laughs> them little memes. I see that shit is effective too now. <laughs> As soon as you post a meme and some food, they yeah, jump right in. Sticks by that food, boy. Yo, you stick yep. to that food. It's better than you so far. Huh? The food? Yes. Girls love food. They, 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 uh, yeah. The food is way better no, the food, than you yeah. so far. No, no, no. Ten times. Views. I get it. Food. Views. 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 Vacay trips. Yeah. All that shit. Jump right in there. <laughs> Vacay trips? Ish. It, it, I would think no. I'm, I'm trying to run it because they gotta assume you already on a trick with something else. So that don't no. stop. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be next. They want to be next. They, uh, be next. Yeah. Uh, oh, they All right, they jump sure. right in. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. <laughs> when we going? <laughs> Whenever you want. <laughs> when That's we going? That That's worked. A good one. That's that a good worked one. right on me fast. When you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> so so oh, no, free next weekend? Yeah, I'll call off the whole pod. <laughs> <laughs> that got to be something old, though, right? Huh? That has to be something old that say when we going. Like, no, no, we have, no. Hello, okay. I just, I just, I, okay. Nice, right, you broke, nigga. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like you're gonna change. Well, Ish already start seeing the changes in you. I'm, uh, Ish brought it up a couple pods ago, but nobody acknowledged it. My guy got ice and eyes. <laughs> <laughs> eyes and ice. That's crazy. Now that is wild, yo. Off the rip. Off the bro, humble. I, yo, you I got like being able to see. You bro. got vision. Yeah, nigga, I want to see. Dressing better. You know? If you get a pool, it's going to be a wrap. Got his name on his chain. I want to know his name. What y'all think is coming next for him? A big, something big, a big change. Mm. Nah. nah. Cue up Sam Cook. He get he getting a Bentley or something. Never. Okay. Okay. If you get rid of that Apple Watch, we might shoot a field. <laughs> you know I mean? <laughs> you, you get, if you get a Rolly and get rid of that Apple Watch, nah, he gonna have two watches on. That's all. No, nah. don't do that. <laughs> hey, yo, let me tell you, <laughs> if you same wrist. If, yeah. you, if you cheat on Apple, my nigga, we know it's over. Ain't nobody safe. If you fuck around, and get a Rolly and take that Apple Watch off, it's gonna be a problem. Why well, change the band, nigga? I, I, Dude. <laughs> His head getting extra balder. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a bald spot. Like, y'all not noticing what's going on. He waxing got, now? He going, yeah. <laughs> extra extra the balder. The barber extra treatment now. He like, you know, I see what you're doing. I got to. Give you the scalp massage. Yeah, now. I get all that shit. Well, I can see. Yeah, yeah. I can tell. I can tell. It's a whole now. experience in the shop now. I'll be in the back now. <laughs> you don't even be in the. Nah, John nah, Paul, let me see me up front. Oh, I'll be in the back. Oh, man. That's funny, yo. Next is happy ending for ice. Yo. Only no. you, yo. Yeah, no. Only this nigga. No. Only me. Yeah, all right. You know what? I'm starting this. 
Uh, oh wait, I was trying to do something. I was oh, trying to do man. something. I was trying to do oh, something. You got a little uh, a you, come menage. On, come on, you know what they call them shits. Drive nothing but Mercedes or you know, Rolls Royce. Right? I won't go nowhere. <laughs> I'm a commercial airliner. I won't ride in nothing but limousines, and I won't make love to nothing but the best looking women in the world. <laughs> hey, no, 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 I feel you, Flair. Uh, <laughs> all right, now. Everybody relax. We having a real chill pod. Future would shit. Come on, man. Oh, man. I knew this was going to be fire as soon as I seen track list. Anytime I see Tim's and Drake together, I just be like, all right. Ice. Ice. I didn't say a word. I, and don't say a word. I did not say a word. Microphone check. One, what? two, one, two. Hope everybody's easy, breezy, feeling good, feeling great. Shout out to wherever you might be listening from. Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, Google, YouTube, Patreon. Bootlegs. Shout out to the first and last time listeners. Oh yeah, the bootleggers. Gotta respect Gotta the game. Gotta shout them out. You know what I mean? Gotta respect the game. I was I was them once. Still am sometimes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I feel them no. Nah. Ice. I don't have a balcony. That's what it is. <laughs> That's, that's next. What, that's that's coming next. Yeah, that's next. That's coming next. <laughs> Yo, want me to when change. you get a balcony, Y'all want me to change so nah, you're gonna get a balcony. You can beat Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that hurt. Damn, <laughs> you hit that nigga back. Kiki said, I'm out. Bro. I'm out with the girls. We had Kiki on the. Oh man, you gotta go sit in your balcony and stare at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to try to figure out how the moon works. <laughs> then, how does it illuminate? Well, the government put it there. <laughs> Ice. I, I, what? <laughs> Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? That's crazy. No, Made me not. shake his hand when y'all been fucking for a minute. Oh, it hurts me. <laughs> it hurts being a billionaire. You had to shake some guy's hand. <laughs> that was popping your yummy. I'm a billionaire, yo. <laughs> what is it? There's a lot of y'all means out I there. I drafted bro. Scotty Barnes. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about right now, yo? He drafted him. I just, yes. <laughs> this nigga's stupid, yo. Yo, something wrong with you, yo. Go ahead, man. I drafted Scotty Barnes. He, when he walked downstairs, it's a basketball court. Mm-hmm. With an owl in the middle of the court. A big one. A big one. I don't give a who hand I shook. Yeah, what happened? That's, that's, I don't care. That was, that was my whole thing. Like, like, so? Mm-mm. Y'all men really, your men in there, egotistical asses. Yo, that's nothing but ego, right? It's who ego. cares it's, about it's two that? Things. Maybe it's not. Two things. No, no, he could be things. in love with somebody. It's that ego and security at the same time. You could be in love with somebody though, and and, and your ego don't really have nothing to do with it. You don't think you're gonna be the same time. Alright, you could be in love. You think you're the last dick that she's ever gonna hop on? Like, tell me when men think that. When, I don't think that. But would, but you still don't be wanting to Kiki with the nigga. <laughs> now, me and, me and Drake be thinking it. You don't want me, Kiki. Me and Drake think it. You don't want Kiki with the nigga? The yeah. hoppy. You don't want Kiki with the hoppy. Kiki, you the hoppy. But, but Kiki is different from you shaking a hand. She been fucking with this nigga. You, that ain't no. you. Kiki is different from shaking a hand. That's what I'm saying. No, you're not besties. You're not going to make a dinner reservation with the dude. But you can shake a nigga's hand. I know you're shaking his hand. It's currently heartbeat, popping you. Cause what would you rather her do? Tell you so you can stay away. Yo, I'm fucking him right there in the red, the red vest. And then when she tell you, stay him, away. She gotta tell you the rest of the niggas in there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, and him, and I'm a, him. I'm gonna dap you up. But how he find that out? And now he's he's because he went he, through a phone. He's six inches tall. He's six inches taller than <laughs> That's you. That's how you found out. <laughs> like let, let's, got eight, let's, an eight pack, not yeah, a six. Yeah, let's, eight. let's go through it. Natural. Na- you, yeah, a natural. <laughs> yeah, I was just getting ready to say that. Yeah, natural eight. You rat when that happens, hey, yo. and I'm still gonna intro you. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. No, no. <laughs> Want to leave some uh, blank? Yo, your niggas is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about an eight pack asshole. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. You get no plugs. In that thing. <laughs> is that nigga had the eight inch? The eight inch. Shit. <laughs> all yeah. natural. Got all natural. I, I, didn't, I didn't even see. <laughs> Nigga was girthy. <laughs> hey, yo, y'all laughing in the back. It ain't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> yo, tell me about the time y'all measured y'all shit. What y'all use? 
All types Mad of shit. shit. <laughs> 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 you be in the shower, you grab the shampoo by anything. You <laughs> <laughs> crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> anything. Oh, oh shit. Give me travel size. This nigga's huge. <laughs> Damn the shampoo! Yeah, I be getting so a big shampoo. <laughs> Not putting that shit on my dick. <laughs> even the now, time I'm, now I'm depressed in the shower. Man, the fuck out of here! No. Hey, even that one time I used the cable remote. I was like, well, it is a long remote. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it is a long it's smart TV. Like, <laughs> Look at that shit. <laughs> <buttons. laughs> a little DVR shit. I got there. the Netflix Marks. button. I can't yeah, see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got the Netflix button. That's yeah, smart. Yeah, these oh. new remotes, you know. A little touch panel what, on there now. What can you do? They, I mean, it controls everything. All the devices. <laughs> nah, dead ass. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, honestly. Because mm-hmm. if you go to the strip club and this song comes on and you got a beautiful lady, which beautiful ladies make you spend more money in the strip club. Facts. Absolutely. That's, yeah, that's and easy. you can't even spend none of it. You just give, she's spending it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, something you wouldn't even give 48 oh, yeah. cents. Not a dime. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> she's so nice. That's right. Oh, she's so nice. Yeah, you be like, I hate that she's so nice. You like this. No. Mad as hell. Mad as hell. No, no but she told me her name is Abitha. <laughs> That's not her name. Yeah, she told me something totally different <laughs> yeah. last week. <laughs> my mother didn't name her Cinnamon. What are you talking about? Yeah, at all. Yo. I'm here today only to argue with Ice about future. I don't have an Atlanta representative to call. Well, I do, but... Greatest rapper alive, you know what I mean? Ellie told you. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say that, but you got to be in the, you gotta, you gotta, You got to put him up there. In the market share conversation. Okay, market share, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was such a great night in total when Ice let me hear the song for the first time. That's when I was really, really hating was on it. Was that long ago? Yeah, yeah, that's why I heard it. That shit was a bit yeah. time. First time. Damn. I don't know when this shit came out. When this shit came out? 14, maybe? Something like nah, that. Nah, it might have been. Mm. Nigga, you're saying total. It's compound. That was a long time ago. The compound was 2013. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 10 years. This song is 10 years old. Yeah, I ain't We're th- old, man. Yeah, we, yeah, it'd be hauling ass. Time don't be playing with these niggas. This is another song that you really should never turn off in the middle of it, but... Yeah. Fuck it. The Molly made him do it. That's why we thought it was a contract. Uh, that's what it was. It feels kind of Yeah? No, 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 Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Five what? 30. 30. Welcome to episode 530 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Crusoe's here. Corey is here. Young boys in the back. Y'all good? Yeah. And you guys are here. Shout out to our beautiful audience. <laughs> you Hi like guys. a round of applause or hey, something hey, right hey, there. Hey, come on. Like let's give him a little. Right music. So. Uh, there we go. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's up? How's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? Feeling good, man. Really good. Really How was your weeks? Uh, busy. I worked. I worked all week, man. All week. All week. Okay. Shout out to working. Shout out to working. Yeah. Work. Hey. Okay. Ish. Great, great day. I mean, great work. Well, great <laughs> week. Pardon me. They can't even talk. Productive week. All right. Good week for you. Uh, ice. Great week. All right. Now yeah. that we got that out the way, How was yours, yours, man? yeah, we gotta ask you about great. your shit. My, my day. I mean, my week was great. Now I'm ish. Okay. My week was great. Yeah, I was home. I didn't do too much. Ran around, did dinner here. Was trying to go see Burner Boy last night, but mm. didn't make it out. He's in New York. Actually, he's out here for the next four days. Oh. And that's the show you want to go to. Yeah. You 100% yeah. want to be at a Burner Boy show. You do. Even if you never heard a song. Yeah. No, not heard. Yeah. No, I'm saying even if you didn't, you'd be all right. No, I heard. Oh, saying he heard. I thought you said you heard it. <laughs> I heard that you heard a song. No, I heard that. Yeah, Burner Boy is out here for a few days, and. I didn't go, but when I saw the clips the next morning, the women were throwing their panties Where's and bras on the stage. He, he was at the garden last shit. night. And one of them, I think it's the Hulu room in the garden. Oh, okay. Still. Still? Yeah. 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 I like that venue, too, actually. I like it, too, yeah. actually. Um, that look like the garden garden. It, 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 it might be the garden garden. That ain't the, oh, that ain't yeah. the Hulu room. That ain't. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Look at Burner Boy, yo. Oh, no. Yeah, that ain't that ain't Hulu. <laughs> you would send your girl to the Burner Boy concert without you? No. That's, I want to go too. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> I'm trying. 
trying to, you know, it depends on what you are. You are you are artist, artist or you in, or you're in the business. Each of you, okay, you're in the business. You get tickets to shows. Mm -hmm. Your girl knows that. Mm -hmm. Burner Boy is in your girl's town. Yo, baby, can you give me tickets? I want to go to the show. You send your girl to the Burner Boy show. That's my that's my that's my question. No, I understand what's your question. Without you, yeah, I mean, yeah, I might I might do that. Yeah. She could go. Go to. Why don't I tell the, Quit million, the world? Pardon me. The, the million. Yeah, people well, I, I wouldn't even have brought it up, but you got it. Man. You got it. Oh, Quinn Nelson. He <laughs> <laughs> seems like he'd be a fan. <laughs> oh, no. I'm a, yeah, no. Actually, we don't have to take that out. <laughs> You're coming on these podcasts, running your mouth. Uh, but anyway, let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. I haven't written anything down. Freestyle. So I'm, I'm freestyling. I mean? This is all off the top. The dome. And we start with Future. I never uh, liked you. Future's album, I Never Liked You, Drop, beautiful album cover. I heard it. I love it. Wait, one question before we get there. Is it true that he's doing Monster 2 right after this? Or was that like a Twitter fake rumor? We don't know. We don't know? Okay. You never know. Like, there's been rumors of all kind of shit. Right, right. Like, Beast Mode, I mean, not Beast Mode, uh, Ape Shit supposed to have been coming. I'm going to assume that's a rumor know. because nobody in the know would promote that rumor while this is fresh off the press. Like, you wouldn't be talking about that when you have to sell this, right? Well, uh, not, 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 not necessarily. True. Because he did do uh, Future and Hendrix yeah. back to back weeks. and But he told us. No. No, the other one popped up, right? Yeah. Future the popped R &B up. R &B and it was, oh shit, Hendrix is dropping, right? It wasn't like he told us off the bat. Oh. I'm doing two albums in two weeks. And he'd been on a commission for a long time. So you know he got a ton of shit probably in the top. Now that so. that particular instance with Future and Hendrix, that was contractual. Like uh, he, okay. lost, he lost the court case, had to pay. Rocco. Oh right, right. All right, right cool. Right. Gotta, I got to pay you all my next two projects. Cool, I'm gonna drop them in the next two weeks. Here, take right. your money. So that might not apply, but he works at such a high clip where he could do that. A few of y'all out there tried to tear me up for my my Pusha T production take. For real? Yeah, I said, only a few. Some people agreed, some people didn't. It's funny getting judged on your opinions on what you like. Oh, welcome to my world. <laughs> That's why sometimes you just want to come in here and keep your fucking opinion to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Because pod fans think that you're talking to them about your opinion. And I'm not. Just talking <laughs> about my opinion. I'm not I'm ever trying talking to, tell to you, anyone, anyone my about opinion. my opinion. I'm talking. I'm just Got you. talking about yeah, how I feel about something. How I, feel I say about all the time, my opinion is not up for debate. Yeah, and I it's don't my care. Opinion. I don't care how you feel about yeah. my opinion. I'm not trying to sell you on it. Yeah, that's don't like, don't agree. I don't care. Yeah, good for you. And that is true. Tell your friends you don't agree with me. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't give a. I'm fuck gonna say okay. And if you still don't like the beat or whatever, you know. Yeah. All right, but Future's album, I love. Panderer, say what you want, <laughs> but I love it. I need to hear it. I listened to it today at 10 o'clock in the morning with zero uh, substances in my body, and I don't feel like that's the right time to listen to Future. I need like a lot of subwoofer, at least some alcohol and THC, and women around. See, you listen to it the married way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew Mary Parks was going to change. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it was just like, time to listen to shit in the proper context sometimes. I, I, on this I have time to get drunk and smoke something. Nah. 10 o'clock. I'm not a morning drinker kind of guy. I, I throw it on. I threw it on as soon as he dropped, just just to hear where it was going. Yeah. But the ultimate test for me is always the car test. Right. Like I don't care what it is. I got to hear it in the car, and that'll tell me what I really think about it. See what the Volvo, what it's hidden for in the Volvo. Civic man, put some spec on it. All right. <laughs> a good car. A good, great car. All right, and give you a review. Come on, um, so we can argue about it. We ain't got time. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, Come God, on, let's argue. argue. We've been arguing the whole car ride. Let's get to arguing this here, goddamn. Because I always want to have some contrarian ass opinion it's on. It's not something. contrarian. His opinions are his opinions. Exactly. Not up for, That's uh, it. You know what I mean? This is a cool future album. <laughs> it's hard to get this guy, man. <laughs> this is a cool future album. This is nowhere near his best work. It's nowhere near his worst work. Alex, it's Alex, he's right old, in the middle. Yo. Huh? This old nigga take. I stuttered. Why? Why do you feel that way? Thank you. I just told y'all my Wait, Alex, you think this is his best work? I think it's really good. I just want to know why you feel like it's not even up to par with his best work. I just, I'm curious. What, is, what do you have as future's best album to you? For me personally, it's Hendrix. All right, me too. Yeah, me, no, me three. Lot too. So you're gonna tell so me this? This, this is on par with? Hey, Hendrix? No, 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 no. Hold on, Stop. don't do that. That's how you try to get me in the exactly. car. No, I'm not. He just said it's on <laughs> up par with his That's best work. His words. 
Stop. He said that. Okay, so what, why do we like Hendrix, Ice? I'm answer my question. All right, what's your question? Is this on par? Let me bump it some more. We j- it just came out. But why did we like Hendrix? He answered your question. You answer his. He why did we like Hendrix? <laughs> Hendrix was one of those more R&B, wasn't it? Yeah, it was an R&B yeah. album. Yeah, so, yeah, what, yeah. so what we got on this one with the trap? What do you Come mean on, with bro. the trap? Yeah, with the trap style that he does. We got the R&B side too with it, right? Yeah, you know? is this a blend of both? Yeah. I bet. So that's why I'm confused. Okay, so if you gave me a whole and, R&B no, 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 album, no, 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 that's no, no. amazing. What What do you have as future second best project? Second best project to me is Evil. And that's where Ice loses me. I like Evil, but I don't know if that's the second best. That's where Ice loses I'm talking about albums. I'm not talking about the mixtapes. Oh, uh, I don't... I albums. Count, I count them all as the same shit. I don't know what's what. Evil. DS2 is an album. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yo, I stop, yo. I'm and I'm not. What? I'm not a future expert. I'm not. So I don't want to pretend. I'm way more future. I know. That's why I don't, don't want it. But I'll have this argument on behalf of the future fans because this sounds nuts to me. I don't think a future fan would tell me that Evil is better than this new project. I liked Evil a lot. Evil's a lot better than this new project. I had to go to Evil and play the records in the car just to make sure because Future puts a lot of albums out. I didn't share that opinion. That's fine, but again, you're not a huge future fan. But you know, you still know what you like. Yeah, that's what I don't understand about ice. You get what I'm saying? Like you, I know what I like. No, no, no. What is there not to understand? No, no, you're right. But I'm just saying, like, you don't got to be a huge future fan to know what. This is all all subjective. All of this. True. He could sit there and say this is the greatest album he's ever heard. I, I cannot say he's wrong in that. That's his opinion. True. I'm going to say, as a person who's been listening to Future since uh, the 1000 mixtape and, and uh, astronaut status, and etc., this is a cool Future project. Seven. I don't do that no more. Off this. I don't do that Listen. no more. I don't do that. I'm not doing numbers. Gotcha. I'm, this is a cool... This rides right in the... It's, it's not up there at the top, and it's nowhere near the bottom. This, this is, is riding the, right in the middle. Stop, stop. This is how the album starts, Iris. I love how the album I'm starts. letting you hear how the album I've starts. I've heard the album. Well, let me let you hear it again. <laughs> it just came out. It's, it's, okay, yeah. It, it has never been this time. Uh-oh. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I stop you. Joe, I you're stop playing it. one I song st- on a Oh, no, I'm not track. done. Oh, no, no you But wait. Whoa. Hey, no, we Don't just tell get, me wait, that wait, wait, this, we, is, we, this album is amazing because you played that record. That's all I'm telling you. We are just getting started. This is the second future record from this project that I have played today. And I'm playing more. Yeah, play more. And, and, and there's a lot of skips on here too. Is my point. There's highs and lows. Makes it a cool album. Ice. You keep saying ice like I don't love this song because you have to stop. No, I this, don't. I love Evil this song with you. Evil is not doing this show. And it almost pains. I can't even. I want to go right to ESTG. Yeah, yeah. That's what I what, want you to what do. What ESTG did on That's this what record. I, want you to do. I listened to this and was like, Yo, why niggas keep calling him? <laughs> but I know why they keep calling him. He's supposed to be on this project. But he yeah. get on projects and and put Spoke. his foot, his yeah. whole knee. What you supposed in the to do? Ass. What you supposed to do? It's competition, nigga. G- give me, give me a little bit of Holy Ghost. Yeah, no, 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 what are you it's talking so about? Stupid, like, it's stupid. Because you got to live a certain life to understand what he's talking about. Yeah, it's so stupid, yo. Come it on, man. Be, Shout nah, out to my ladies. I think it's Shout out to the ladies. It might be your civic. Yo, you inspire it's me. It's not the civic. She tell me go get money. I just go get it. Yo, <laughs> she tell me get money. I just go get it. This shit I don't crazy. complain about it. I don't, you know what I mean? Oh. I'm saying, damn, I got to go work hard. Yo, she like niggas with money. Guess what I got to go do? Go get it. I gotta, I gotta become a nigga with money. <laughs> Why is she massaging you, future? Hey! That's why she be massaging me too, yo. You have to do. You don't get massages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm starting to figure out why Ice might not like this project. Dog, you, you, you don't get I massages. Say, yo, you can't stop. You can't create a narrative saying I don't like this project. I if said you think cool. evil is better than this, then it I can't create this. that narrative. It is better than this. It's better than what? It's better than what? The lows this is my the, sixth song. The lows on this. All right, when this record goes off, explain to me the lows. I don't need to play this, right? I don't need to wait till the beat drops on this, right? Come on, Ice. Just give me some Holy Ghost. That's all I asked for. That's That's sure. About three more, too. <laughs> hey, yo, Alex. I was going to say what I've heard so far. This okay. Is, this is what, what I'll give Ice. 
Uh, go to the top of this track list. Track one, I played it. You Amazing. already know what time it is. And I'm not, my future fandom comes from what he does on the melodic beats. Okay. Yeah. Um, so he starts off trappy. I'm that nigga. Fire. Keep it burning. Yeah. I don't love started. keep it burning. That's what it, it's cool. Right, it's a skip. It's a skip. For a nut. Cool. It's a skip. Uh, cool. Puffing on Zooties. Fire. That's the, yeah. Gold stacks. It's a skip. And that will be your last skip on this album. That's not true. Give me the rest. I don't put this little this four song run of Wait for You, Love You Better, Massage Me, and Chickens is ridiculous. And I think that really goes all the way down to the way things going. I I know, but I mean, depending on your mood, depending on your mood. I don't I after don't those four, I those don't four, five, six. Fill that Drake record. I'm oh on. my god! Listen, Wait, which one? I, I, I'm on one. Not not the one. Oh, okay. I wait for you. Oh. I I'm like that one. record. That's fine. But I'm why don't? Me. But tell but uh, tell me why. Tell the audience why you don't like the record. Fam, it's not a. I, it's. It don't do it for me. That's See, all. And that's what I'm that I don't, how do that's my beef with fans. What? Either I like something or I don't. But no, only in music can we do that. Only in music can we say That's not true. If you if you go to a car lot and don't like a car, you know exactly why you don't like that car. I can go watch a movie <laughs> if and you say don't I, like, the movie just wasn't cool. Art. No, you and know art. why you it's don't art. like a movie. Yeah, it's yeah. art. It's yeah. art because art, art is a little different than a physical. Because art is so is. subjective that we just sat here with Ish and talked about the uh, b- before we cut the cameras on talking about the Batman movie and then me and Park said how Joker was good and he was like, eh. like you cannot like a movie. All I'm saying is some, when you, I got a reason when for you it, don't though. like something, you typically know why. I can explain why. Even with art, if I look at a painting and I don't like it. I could say why I could say because I don't that, that painting yeah, yeah. that's, that's painting just didn't do nothing for me. It's dry, so it's I'm, depressing. You could say yeah, or it just didn't do anything for me. I skipped that. The records that I like is, is something that I want to hear again. That's when I like something. But I feel like if you don't know, all right, the records you do like, yeah. why do you like them? It's multiple reasons, bro. The records I like, niggas we be talking certain shit on there. It's just something in there I want to hear again. So he, when I like some shit, it's just point. it just makes me want to hear the shit over. I think, I think I get your point. So he's saying, are you saying? Let me ask you first. If you can explain why you like an album or a, a song, you should be able to explain just, why you don't like it. I just said the exact because he knows same shit. when you like some, it jump right out why I like it. But but you also have sensors to know what you like. So when those things pop out, like y'all know when it's played some sleepers and it start with a, a certain chord, mm. we know yeah. oh, I'm about to get in my. I am attracted to that gotcha. sound, that chord, that dark, that progression. That there's certain things some in records, records I like. Some of these records sound like records I've heard from him before. Like it, it's, it's nothing that it's nothing special. Gotcha. You've made this song or this type of particular song, so nothing makes me want to run right back to this again. I don't like that in hip hop either that, now, as I age. What's that? But I said that a few weeks ago because the artists that we like the same shit from, we like that from them. Yeah. Like Push. There's yeah. a few niggas that, it's a lot of niggas that might kind of make the same song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. True. And we don't mind it. So why do we mind it in, with some people? And I can't say it's people you don't like because you like Future. I love Future. I love Future. But it could also be because he puts out a lot of music. He has a very vast discography. So when you get so many of, oh, this just sounds, all right, this is cool. I want standouts from Future. I think a lot of this album is a standout. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah. That's. I think okay. a lot of it we is, can is agree a standout. On that. I see these these little Future niggas, all uh, the uh, little Future fans online. <laughs> they talking about some Kendrick is somewhere sweating up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love when they do Cause, that. Cause he had, yeah, but I think I, I'm not gonna say there's merit to him sweating up a storm, but there's merit to Future raising the bar. Future put out. This is our equivalent of a blockbuster project. Well, like when a blockbuster movie comes out. Yeah. Like from the features to just him, just who to, he is. Yeah. Well, I pulled yeah. up. I was telling, and he delivered. I was telling. That's what I'm saying. Do you think he didn't deliver? Yes, he delivered. But it's a. Uh, it, he cool. didn't smack this out the park. Like this is a home run. Right, so the home Amazing. run just went over the fence. <laughs> <laughs> to you, to me, this is I'm not saying, a home no, run. I'm saying to, to Joe, saying oh, it's a ground rule double. Future. Oh no, future. I don't think the home run just went over the fence. He think he knocked this out of the park. Did, no. He did not. This is out of the park. This is gone. When I take the hottest niggas in the game, 
put them on my sound and everybody executes, including me, this is out of the park. Yeah. Nobody did, nobody let down for me. Because Ice, you speaking as a future fan, right? So naturally, a hive, they want a specific sound from what they're looking for, right? But when you can uh, get to the general masses, that's why which I, is me, ex- which is Joe, and that's which the point me. he's trying to make. That's why it's like, which nah, is why we're gonna, gonna yeah. we're gonna see it different. Like the future fans have went crazy over some of his albums, and I put this shit on. Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Like, yo, as but a future fan, a lot of future fans, real diehard future fans, don't have March Madness as a top ten future record. I know they high. And see, you'll say that as a casual future fan. No, I say no. that as a music fan. I, I know. You ish. know how I, know. I feel about I, that song. But Ish, can but you name? Can you name? How many? They other, ne- can you but, name me ten? But they never got massages. I, I know ten future songs. They never got massages. I don't know his discog <laughs> like y'all, but I know. Yeah, they might. Uh, yeah, I got some. Massages. It just depends on what you like. From artists, <laughs> some niggas like more. They like that pain shit more than than the. I ain't hear it, but every song that Joe's played, but that be the trick with Parks. <laughs> that nigga take a seven and then this motherfucker it sound like a 17 you get it at home you be like huh you know, I don't I get that, that same, same shit so the, the I'm with part for me it's tougher for an album to really sound the greatest as soon as it drops cause like we listening and it's midnight yeah it depends it depends on the, the album morning. it depends on the artist that. and the it album from the rip some of them do that though. Yeah. So, like some cert like it, it uh, me from the like Jack came on. It like came, J Cole, for instance, I loved off first listen or Bro, uh, that, some that, of the that, ransom. Ransom dropped a project today too. Shout out to ransom. Some of that shit like where I'm gonna be listen- that's headphone music anyway for me. Right, it's gonna hit. Future is not headphone music for me. Future came on. This the is fir- the first loud song. speakers, seven, women dancing. Seven, uh, what's what's the, the time? What is it? Seven something. I, I like what I hear so far, but it's different already. Forty nine people in the room. No, no, no. I'm saying the record seven twelve p.m. That's the name of the track. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about the intro. Future, I cut that on with head, with AirPod Pros on, uh-huh. and was like, "Oh shit!" First record, right? I'm like, "All right, here we go." Oh yeah, we getting there. So it don't really matter the time or none of that shit. It's certain records will just jump out and grab you. Track two, I'm like, "Oh okay, I see where we going." By the time I got to three, I was like, "All right, okay, this is gonna be a skip." So far, I could get I two and a half miles off what I heard. <laughs> I could jog two and a half nowhere. Crazy this shit came on. I thought I thought he wanted a Joe verse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> this is me. What the hell? This is rapper Joe. I ain't no future was. I love when he does this. Come on, man. Yo, that fucking guitar in the back is awesome. ridiculous, mm-hmm. yo. I don't need damn. It they don't is. even hear what he's it doing. Is. <laughs> nah, it is. I just don't. I just, Bam, you my I, man. I'm telling but you that there I, are records right. on here that I love. I'm I'm talking to the, I'm fu- not the future calling this diehard trash. Out there. I'm talking to the like, future diehard fans. Niggas treat it like because I don't think this is amazing. I'm calling it trash. I'm not doing that. Well, you know that in this day and age, it's either yeah, it's either classic or trash. trash. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not I'm mad not at that. I, I he lost me when he said evil is evil is better. Evil than is this. a 11 song project with this is what 13. Not damn near a no, skip no, that's like 16. Evil goals. I'm sorry. I like evil. I love. And I'm evil. not. I'm not in a position yet to compare the two. I wasn't. Gonna, he. I'm, he asked me. I am. I said. I didn't even. I'm, a, I was shocked. He thought that that was Future's uh, second best project. Yeah, I don't think it's the second best project. I'm there's surprised. A lot of people I'm surprised. Joe doesn't like evil. Though. There's a lot of people that disagree with that. DS2. Because that like, was kind it, of a it's, dark, it's how you, dark album. Again, it's how you. That's what I said. But <sighs> I had skips on evil, uh-huh. and the songs I liked, I just liked. There was the songs on the songs yeah, on I here. You, I see what you're saying. The highs were high, the highs are higher. That I yeah, love I and will pl- will play for the duration that's of the all, summer. That's what it is. Not only that, I could listen to this and guess what the next three singles might be. Like it's just this is a great album. It's cohesive. The music is great. Like the music sonically. Right. That's, yeah, that's these niggas was just a, the Hendrix. They album. was in their bag, and I just like when I could tell that the feature artists has the utmost respect for the person that called and said, come get on his song. Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you do, you put your best foot forward, yo. Well, no we don't get a lot of projects like that. You're mm-hmm. getting that with a Cole, a Drake. You know, you know why? And Future do this too. He's in the studio with these niggas. That might be it too. Where you get a synergy with the person. Yes. Say, yeah. Like Future's always posting up. He's in, he, yo, we in here together. Let's see what we can come up with. You don't get that today with all this technology, y'all. I'm gonna send sure. it to you with the open with the open spot. And you nigga be in a different mood when he lay his right, shit right. down. Y'all in there bugging yeah, out. You get high, it back. Whatever. You can't tell this nigga. Yeah, yeah. I fuck. All right, yeah. I gotta use it. Yeah, you're right. 
When I play this at the skate key, uh oh. <laughs> They might get a couple dollars out of me with this. Yo, this is the one. I ain't gonna lie. I'm telling you, this is the one off the album for me. I might, I might get a couple this dollars. This is the one. I couldn't get past this record. Oh, you said the one about seven dollars. I said it for this particular <laughs> song every time, Joe. Every time, bro. Everything I said is the same. You can't twist me up, bro. Ice, go get a massage from a baddie, yo. <laughs> That's all. Go get a massage from a baddie. Just to be clear, what is this? A 10? Oh. Uh, yeah, I think you. I think you was behind. That's my rears. <laughs> I got another ten coming. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to say outside. Of, I cannot wait to hear this future album at functions and different yeah. places. Have Pool parties. Having a little shindig outside. tomorrow. Uh, outside. Different environment. Having a little shindig tomorrow. This is gonna be on. Yeah, the the, the, uh, the gas station car show. Come on, man. Yeah, the yeah. car wash car yeah. show. Oh, that's the one, oh, boy. <laughs> that's the one, man. That's the one. Oh, man. Guy, yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah. then you got to... Don't get Ice too excited talking about the car wash. <laughs> nah. That's when you, you know, I got to go pop the trunk and go get something out the trunk. Wow. For nothing. <laughs> For nothing. Yeah, 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 shout out to you niggas with the $30,000 cars, man. Because y'all still be y'all still be washing them shit. It's like, just be dust dusty, <laughs> Nobody care about But I'm a change. You hear this nigga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or, y'all hear him? Fam, do you I've hear never this had a third thousand dollar car. It's just not a change for me. Damn. I had a twelve hundred dollar car. <laughs> <laughs> you went from twelve hundred to sixty grand? Yeah, yeah. See, thirty thousand the thirty thousand dollar cars used to be like opulence. We was going to the auction for the hoopties. Twenty five hundred. Get you an eight, eight, nine month run out of something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Hey, I love my little. So you went from twenty five hundred to a hundred grand. Yeah, that's nice. See, that's why you missing some shit in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> that's it right there. Yo, yeah, you miss, yo, sense, right? you missing some brain yeah. shit in the middle. Right yeah. there, you went from twenty five hundred to a a Hummer. You skipped the three series, man. Yo, you gotta, yeah. yeah, yo, you missing some, yeah, yo. Yeah. Yo, yes, and a Cherokee brain. Yeah. You don't have no Cherokee brain. <laughs> what was your What was your uh, timeline? You never did a jump. No, I, I did a jump. You did the gradual. Yeah, I never had a hundred thousand dollars car. I used to look at niggas. I did a jump though. My first car was fifteen hundred. My second one was thirty three grand. No, that's that's, that's that's a jump though. That's oh, okay. For me though, like, and then we go move on. Oh, how do we go from? Oh, you talk about it. What I am? Oh yeah, this is what he can't wait. I hate ice. <laughs> he can't wait. I don't even remember the point I was making. Just, just go ahead. <laughs> just, I, just, I don't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I'll tell y'all. So while listening to Future's album, uh huh, you know, then you hit the little tab and see what else is out there. Sure. Why? Because you, you want to know <laughs> if you, everything. If you, that if you listen to Future's album, why you need to I, see what I, else? Because it's my job as a professional <laughs> to be able to speak about the music that dropped in the field that we cover. My job as a professional. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I saw a Pooh Shiesty featuring Gunner record, and it was I'm like, okay, where is this from? Uh -huh. And the ar album artwork said um, Shiesty Season Certified. So I'm like, okay, did he drop it? His album was called Shiesty Season that dropped in 2021. Uh -huh. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? So I click it, and it says it. This album came out April of 20, uh, excuse me, February of 2021. But I ain't seen none of these songs nowhere before. I'm looking at the feature list. And I, I cut uh, Pluto off at that point and ran right to this album and like jumped up and started celebrating. That might be why Ice got a different. I was at the end of the album though. I was at. Uh, but you normally listen to it. Well, then to say it like times. that. But you normally but listen and, to it. Three yeah, times. I did a couple listens. But, but you painted, say it like yeah, that. Yeah, picture a little different. Yeah, you. I told y'all Holy Ghost. Uh, when was I my heard shit. this, I immediately cut Pluto. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Nigga. Don't do that. No, that had to get done with this. We different. I haven't heard it, so I can't. I have and nothing to say. I heard it. Get your shit off. And so what they did is they took his deluxe and added another, what, 14? Oh, this is a deluxe deluxe. Yeah. Uh, you can't even. Uh, I don't understand this shit because it doesn't show as a new album, though. It shows it dropped last year. Yeah, it doesn't seem beneficial. I don't get it. I, I, I get the point of re-releasing albums, but it should show up as a new, as a album. new album. Yeah, I didn't understand. Why bury it in last year's release? Confused the hell out of me. But when I click play, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 
you know, he got Doug on there, Big 30 on there a bunch of times. I, Herbo, I said, oh, okay, this is the album for me. Like, this was, hey, Ice, we, we dropped something for you. <laughs> and they didn't tell you. And no way of finding out at all. But he did a remix. It's probably going to be my sleeper today, I'm going to tell you now. Well, he couldn't market Not it. Not him. <laughs> well, no, he did put a statement out after the sentencing and then said, yo, I got new, new music coming Friday. <laughs> Niggas love artists that can't market this shit. <laughs> nah, what's happening is these niggas is signing street niggas who just happen to make okay mu- well okay to good music, but they really are street niggas, mm-hmm. and you're dealing with that. So yeah, as they pop, they keep popping. They pop, yeah, double entendre. Yeah, you see what crazy. I did there? And I like, then, allegedly, I like my artists with some life expectancy. <laughs> Stupid you. <laughs> right. Duh. My Duh. dumb dumbass. <laughs> I want to invest in like something that's here for a while. The, like but the yeah, streets. But this, this was great for me. And for the fans who've been looking for new Pusha Icy music, go get this. Okay. Yeah, this is this was for us. So you ain't go back to future at all? I did a little later on, but I ran. Well, you didn't have no choice when you got my car. <laughs> I'm talking about what he was gonna do. <laughs> Nigga, I got a noise cancellation. Yeah, but it was gonna be on. Oh, that's fine. But I can still hear what I want to hear. I ain't got to listen to that. Noise. I like. Yeah, Yo, you niggas can noise cancellation. I'm... Like you won't hear a sound in the truck <laughs> in them little ear like pods. Noise you, cancellation. You really subs. You, you really, I've done that plenty. You of gotta times. feel you the really base. don't. You'll feel it, but you won't hear shit. You heard ranch shit? Yeah, I did. I mixed it. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. Tuh, I heard tuh. Tuh. Great project. No, no rest for the wicked. Out now. Uh, <laughs> we got special on there. Uh, Jr. You got a bunch. of Bunch of nice features. Great project, man. Ransom is one of the most consistent. Yeah, guys don't let up. Music. Yeah. I, I saw say, he posted that. I said, yo, you really just mm-hmm. don't let up. Drop more shit than Mike Tyson. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, and they all and they that. all be fire. I love it. Shout out to Ram. You man. know, Ransom is married, so what else he gonna do? <laughs> but be in the studio and rap. <laughs> Good point. Shout out to Ram, man. We love you. I heard this is crazy. 38 specials just hopping on everything, huh? You need to come back with an album. 30th special. Yeah. Um, Lil Baby dropped uh, another, another. Frozen, right? Yes, Frozen is the track. This is the third single. We don't got no uh, release date enough for a project yet. No announcements. No, I know. Hey, look. Seems it, like it's got to be coming soon. He He's on the tour with Chris Brown. Yeah. That, they got to both be dropping. The signals soon. are out there. Yep. Something's the breadcrumbs bread are in the. We don't have a single from Lil Baby for whatever album is coming, right? Well, we don't. He just dropped songs. two singles. Yeah. I know, but we don't know if this is first getting. single off project or. We know they ain't singles. <laughs> Lamborghini boys. Well, what? no, that. So what happened? I believe it was uh, a couple months ago. He said his next project was going to be Lamborghini boys. He was only getting features from artists that own Lamborghinis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these young niggas got some balls on them. <laughs> yo, just think about that though, yo. Nah, nah, I fuck nah. With you, but nah, nah. But you, what you I mean, but if you, that, what you driving? How do you check that? Like, what? Go to the I garage. Can, I can show you my man's Lamborghini. No, nah, 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 nah yeah. not today. They, if they in the know. Yeah, yeah, they, it's a little different today. You can't get that off. That's some funny shit. That's some funny shit. So we don't know if that is going to be this this project's title. We don't know. So I can't give you a verse just if I was feeling the you Tesla can, a little more. No, no, no. You can give me a verse. You're just not going to be on this project. Yeah. You could be on the you Tesla Boys. I could be on the Tesla Boys yeah, project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your, yeah, get your you money on, up, nigga. You be on that. You just can't get on it. Yeah, work harder. That's that. It's not even before? about money. You, I, shit, I was looking for a Lamborghini and couldn't find one. Ch- change your part. You ain't have no money. You ain't have enough. Yeah. Yeah. If you had enough, you know, they didn't have one. No, nigga. If you had enough money, somebody would sell that bitch. <laughs> oh, I didn't go on an extensive hunt. Oh, no, no, you ain't right. want a Lamborghini bad enough. There you go. Well, yeah. I didn't know they were Lamborghini boys. <laughs> if I knew, if then, I knew, if I might have been, if I knew my verse got submitted on an album <laughs> with the purchase, then maybe. Yeah, I mean. um, no, I asked about the single because there's nothing that looks like it's being worked as a single. True. I asked that because I feel just my own feelings. I feel like he is and has been trying to condition us to accept a single that's not in the normal realm of whatever you would expect from him as a single. Like, that's what I think a lot of these serious records are gearing up for. They all have been serious. But he's been doing that. Not as a single. What? I haven't heard the 
the serious single first single. Let me say that first okay. single, okay. first single, first single. Because even when he did that fucking um, the shit, the bigger uh, picture, yeah, yeah, when he did That's that, not, not a single. People tried to people tried to give him some backlash, but I Back, think wait, backlash for what? Saying I was outside of his world. Yeah, yeah. He said is it in the song? But as even though know, I rap about killing and dope, I'm still telling the youngins to vote. Like I'm, he 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 acknowledges himself. Like yo, this ain't my bag. And even said, yo, don't expect that no more. Oh please, that was that was that was for the people that was mad. Don't expect that no more. Was for the people that was mad. I think his profile blew up. Uh, it did. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It did. No question. Absolutely. And I think he would like to continue to see his profile. You hear him start rise. talking about other shit. Yeah, yeah. He's starting to talk He's about into other shit. rooms. Yeah. That's what happened. Once you start moving into these other rooms and you seeing the world a little differently, you you that growth, yo. Yeah, the growth, yo. Put how much you got? Yo, fuck that. Give me three million. I'm gonna show you how. I... Nigga had a line where he said, "I, I keep it one million. I'm I'm too real to even say keep it a hundred at this point." Like, mm. it's just all right. But this is right in line with him. Nah, you it's, what, it's what he does. This is what I'm he excited. does. He don't it's steer too summer. far away. That's what he does. It's going to be a good summer. I'm scared. I'm scared of saying that because I said that last summer and it was a horrible summer for me. Last <laughs> summer. But I feel like this summer, know, the mandate's man. eating up. I tell you one thing. It did feel good to be on a plane without that mask on. I bet. A mask on oh, yeah. a plane. It felt boy. good to get on a plane without that mask. Especially if you're taking anything annoying over stewardess no, four that shit hours. Is annoying. And put your mask on. Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking something. <laughs> That's why I don't have my mask. Yeah, but you have to drink it through the mask. <laughs> the other day I was on a the plane. They woke me up. Excuse me. Yo, fam. Uh, sir, it's not on your nose and your mouth. They be wanting to just like talk, yo. I, you you woke me up for that for real. That's, <laughs> yo, That's like a little security guard. You know how yo, he, he was annoying. He was punk in high no. school. Now I could. That's just the same you. shit. Like, oh yeah, now nah, I could, I could exhort some authority yeah. now. I'm trying I don't to even mind, man. That shit just hurts your ears after like eight hours. They're pulling on your ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all that. You sleep, yo. Yeah. And you breathing in the same shit for two hours. Some bullshit. That's why you gotta get bang <laughs> that same airport trip. I stopped at a few different stores, um, a restaurant, some steak and eggs, and that's the best combination. Yeah. And. The airport is run by machines now. And it's been run by machines. But on this trip, I was having trouble with like some of the machines. So I called a human over. And guess what the human did every time? Came over and helped the machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. So you call a human over. Like, I'm trying to buy this a paper zone. Do y'all know how frustrating that is? Like, nigga, you for a human to come over and ignore the human and try to fix the machine. <laughs> now, mind you, they didn't. They they're not hiring people here that can fix the machine. <laughs> <laughs> they're just a person. That shit different. I went in the restaurant. She said, "She said, uh, hey, you ate here before, right?" I said, "Yeah, just because I didn't hear what you said." Right? Said, yeah, you're not you're not order, right? I said, oh, come on, <laughs> how hard can it be? <laughs> Got in front of that menu like. uh... <laughs> So I sat down, thought it would be the little press uh, the button, swipe like the card. Too, I don't like those too tough. Man. Nah, scan this your shit, phone you now. had to scan yep. something. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 it, yeah. It sent you somewhere in your phone. You yep. had to join a newsletter. I don't, I don't like, care for that you're either. You're doing a lot for steak and eggs. I don't know it. That's that the new either. shit now. Yeah, I don't care for that either. It's the spot we go to. Don't what? make me use my phone to order Oh, yeah. Food. Yeah. Right. You got, they, yo, you sit down, they got QR codes at every table. And they just be like, it's four of them. They'll walk right over and be like, oh, you I get a menu. Yeah, take your phone and just put it over this. Right. And the menu come up here and you got to just do the shit through the phone. I don't care for that. That's where it's at now. Yeah. That's what it is. Like, listen, in the airport now, certain not all the airports, but they got an airport where before you go into the store, you scan your card. Yeah. That's the Amazon shit. Yeah. Whatever you pick up, you just pick it up. You don't check out. Just when walk you out. walk out, it in rings up all the shit that you got. Yeah. That is some scary shit, yeah. dog. That's in the airports. Yeah, that shit is scary. Dude. I wanted to tell the, the, the humans, hey, in the airport, hey, if you guys keep fixing the machine, you're going to get fired. <laughs> you won't have a job. <laughs> or you just got to be the only nigga to know how to fix it. So now you're valuable. <laughs> That's crazy, Dude, though. Will they ever let you be the only one <laughs> that knows how to do it? Hell no. Mm -mm. Um, I didn't hear this Kehlani project. Me either. Me neither. I seen it, though. I seen it. I seen it. I heard this project. 
None of this is gonna get played on YouTube. We just playing music the whole day. <laughs> YouTube, sorry. They a lot got a thirty of, minute pod. A lot, of, a lot of music came out. <laughs> PJ Morton album. Watch the sun is in your phone right now. It's some shit on there. So some of our favorites on there: Alex Isley, Nas, Stevie Wonder, Mr. Talkbox, JoJo, El DeBarge. God damn. We turn this off before I had to call somebody. For a massage. What's up, man? Yeah. For a massage. Oh, no. She massaging me because she know I'm getting this money persistent. Bitch massaging me because she know I'm getting this money consistent. Bitch massaging me. That's why they don't massage him. I'm not getting that money. That's y'all that keep trying to make them think I'm getting that money. I'm not. Ice, it's not us. They can look at you, but we, we, we can forget it. Soon they gonna See, start massaging your head when we go on the spot. They gonna be go to your bald head. Yeah, you get into it. You don't know nothing you about that line. <laughs> you don't know nothing about that. I ain't mad at that. Um, I didn't hear Kalani's project, so I don't have anything to say about it. But congratulations <laughs> to her. Uh, shout out to PJ Morton. This is phenomenal. Knew it would be. Was waiting for it. Thank you. Uh, oh, nigga, put Nas with Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Parks. No, no, no. Go back. Go back for Parks. Action Bronson? Have you heard it? I did listen to it, yeah. It's Solid. It's uh, Derringer and Alchemist did the whole shit. Weird loops. Uh, the action doing his action shit. It was cool. All right. All right, I don't have no more music to read. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have anything else in music. Yeah, y'all go listen to it. Y'all go y'all I'm go excited about this. Uh, I only heard that one little second of the IDK and Denzel Curry and K. Trinata song. Like Alex said that they're doing a whole album. I don't know why they're not billing it as such, because K. Trinata's a huge artist. But that shit sounded hard. Yeah, they're going to think K. Trinata done bought ads on this pod, the way I keep talking about yeah, it. Yeah, but I heard Russ, Russ do a little EP out. Yeah, he did a little four-pack. I didn't listen yeah, to that yet. Cause I didn't, that I'm running I didn't, I didn't find out about it until... Right yeah, I don't pod. like this, bro. Like, not knowing that shit is dropping. It's because they only put the shit on the front page that pays for it. That shit is getting annoying. It's been annoying for me. Yeah, me too. <sighs> yeah, it's hard when you're trying to find, you know, some new they shit. Don't, they don't design this for you to find new music. Not They're, at all. They design it to find not, the people that they want you to find. Yeah. That they pushing. Yeah, yeah that it's, it's not the goal. Yeah. Uh, all right, so festival season continues, concert season, whatever you want to call it. Summer Jam's lineup was announced. It's a nice one, too. I'm... I'm I ain't even get my hate out and I have to walk my hate back. <laughs> no, you got a few words of the hate out and he did. quickly stopped yourself. Quick, uh, real quick. Start reading and say, uh, uh, uh. well, no, give him, give him the hate that you was yeah, about yeah, to okay, spread. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, that you so, was about to spread. He said, oh, Summer Jam lineup is out. This is prior to seeing the lineup. I say, oh, Summer Jam ain't for us no more, man. It's for the kids now. Like, mm. they don't play none of the acts that I want to see. See, now, and that take is funny. Because you like all the young kids, if you, <laughs> yeah. But they well that, and if you've ever been to Summer Jam, I've been to. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially once it starts raining and you in the Brooklyn section, <laughs> and it is going to rain. Damn, yeah, I think awesome. they and, that and the shit Brooklyn sections rain. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's really interesting that it rains every summer. Jam. Every summer mm-hmm. jam. For, yeah. for your whole life. That's right. odd. Shit is crazy. Right? No matter what day they move, they move that shit to August one time. Man. <laughs> it rain. Still rain. It rain. <laughs> Can't avoid it. It's, uh, it's, it's part of the show now. All right, so that was your hate. Yeah, that was my hate. And then I looked at the lineup. I just glanced at it and apologized to Ebro. E- you, yeah, yeah, Ebro. Just call Ebro right now and apologize. <laughs> I don't have his number. Ebro. Um, yeah, my bad. Like I, I hate it without even seeing the lineup. And so. the lineup is Fabio Foreign, Lil Dirk, the real one. <laughs> Do y'all know that is that the fake Dirk has a a, Dirk, a fake him? There's Wait, a third degree a third of one? Dirk. There are people running around faking the fake. All right, when does wow. it stop? Never if there's a dollar attached to it. Or- or, some or a little variety. internet some and that notoriety. Variety. Like last part, I was in here saying, I don't know why these guys are doing this. And everybody said, you know why they're doing it. Of course, I know why they're doing it. I don't think they're getting paid. That's how you get yourself jammed up. You want to go take that little seven grand. I don't even know if it's seven. Seven grand? Yeah. yeah. A little perky Man, niggas taking $1,700. No. Well, you could seven exit for six nine. Uh-huh. Very appropriate name, 6 9 Hey, bike that he get around, get fucked. <laughs> 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 what 
Bobby O'Farin, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, Young Thug, and Gunner. City Girls, City Boys. Pusha T, a DJ K Slade tribute, of course. Love it. Roddy Rich, Burner Boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know why that name is on the fourth sentence. Or my move that up a little bit. Benny the Butcher, yeah, B- Burner Boy and Benny. Oh, are we in alphabetical order? No. The, uh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, somebody decided to do that. Yeah. Okay. Nigga, you see the other names on that list? Burner Boy, Benny the Butcher, uh, Shinshia, Dream Doll, Corday, Young Blue, NLE Chopper, Saucy Santana, Drewski and Friends. Who's. The DJ Drewski? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, B Love, J and R, Chua, Qua. Am I saying that correctly? I'm not familiar I'm not with sure. them. Could be. 22 G's, Lady London. Yes, friend of the show, Lady London. Uh, Dougie B, Nardo Wick, Babyface Ray. That's right. And Girl Code. That's right. Let's go, Girl Code. What I'm guessing Girl is. Girl Code. Um, I'm happy for them, man. That, That's that, dope. That's a good look. The bottom three lines is probably that festival stage that they do. Yeah. Yeah, it might be. That might be the and that shit right. was lit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Yeah, because they might not put some of them on the on the main stage. And now go they back. Put Saucy Santana on the main stage. Well, City Girls there. Mm-hmm. Ain't no, nah, I don't it, never mind. Cause it might come off as hate. It's not hate. What? You know, somebody gotta be on there at six forty five when the doors open. That's true. I don't think that'll be Saucy Santana though. I do. And then they'll have City Girls will bring Saucy Santana back out later on. But that's no disrespect, of course. Yeah, it's not disrespect. Yeah. It's just you don't have the catalog yeah. to... Yeah, that's how they usually do I it. I like Saucy that. Santana. Not like the dude at that Breakfast Club interview liked Saucy Santana. That was funny. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, no, see that it. was funny, yo. Saucy Santana got a record deal with RCA. Oh, okay. Uh, congratulations. So, uh, she goes up to... Uh, the Breakfast Club, and Charlamagne calls some nigga out that you know he, he don't work on the camera at all. Uh-huh. He in the back somewhere. Hey, you know, he, my, my God, I love you. Come on, come on. Write you love, write you love when she get to twerking. <laughs> Cause what he said, Tam be twerking. What the nigga said? Yeah, he said I like that shit. I th- he said I think it's interesting. He said I think it's funny. But Saucy Santana, like, what's your favorite part about me twerking? <laughs> <laughs> to lie. some straight nigga. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's great. It's great. Uh, congratulations. Shout out to Summer Jam. I won't be there. Yeah, this is a fire. I'm going to watch, man. though. I'm going to watch the stream. Do they do a stream? They have for they the past have, decade. So yeah, for the last I can't imagine they was top now. If they do a stream, I'll watch it. Uh, this Lovers and Friends Festival, I'm not doing this. I feel like I covered this exact flyer last year, same time. Yeah, but it got canceled, I think is what happened, right? Mm, something like that. Postponed, I, whatever whatever you want to say. Is this a real show? I'm just, yo, this is Fire Festival. Did you back at it again? <laughs> He's on there, yo. And, and, and don't do no, that, just, Yeah, I know, I know. Ja Rule didn't do that. I know. That wasn't Billy ja Rule. or whatever. Who yes, <laughs> that was Billy. <laughs> And John well, gonna tell you every time every time you see him. <laughs> that was Billy! <laughs> My man that was gonna go get the water. You know. Usher, John, and Luda had to do it again. i yeah, Lauren Hill, Usher, TL. If this is real, this, this is, is like insane. one of the greatest uh, flyers ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Lauren Hill, Usher, Ludacris, Lil John, TLC, Sierra, Nelly, and Sean. It's everyone from Brandy. 2003 and 4. Listen, the flyer <laughs> says they it was sold out, so they added a second show or the next day. Then it says the same line. Wait, 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 wait. Stop right there. Mm-hmm. This was all supposed to be in one day? Yes. yes. No, nah, how you do that? You got to wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Half these niggas are not performing. They just there. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what you're thinking of? Fam, this is... Go when to here. Pay they, for this if you want. Listen, when they get to that little... SWB Joe Drew Hill next 112 Mario Donnell Jones part of the flyer. At the bottom, mm-hmm. yo. Speaking of, keep going. Man. No, 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 that's, yeah, no, no. Still, Stop, yeah. that's still a good lineup. Though, what man. Foxy Trina tweet, Amory uh, selection, Juvenile, Too Short, Yang Yang Twins, on, Mike man. Jones, Lloyd, John B, Kevin Little, Baby Bash, Frankie J, Nina Sky, and we just and added the locks. The locks. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. This shit got started at eleven thirty in the morning. Fifty eight artists. I don't know if this is real. How? 
I can see if it was a weekend. Live Nation. Are we all going to uh are we all going to DC Juneteenth as a family? I'm asking now just so it's documented. Let's go. I'm asking. Sure. What's what's going on? The uh the the Pharrell shit. Oh okay. The Pharrell Festival. I'm down. We we uh that we just covered that yeah, amazing lineup. Something that, in the water. Something in the water festival. I, I'm down. Uh, we can get a little uh tent and pod from there. We should go. Let's do it. There's gonna be some stuff in the water. All right. I know because I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> <laughs> Molly water back. I'm putting some. Yeah. I'm putting some in some water. Oh man, man. Molly water. Yeah. That DC. Y'all water. don't know what y'all missed oh. in that era. My mom went to another baby we? a baby face concert. While we're on the subject of concerts, and chemistry performed as well. Kim, shout Kim. shout out to Kim. Now, you, what could go wrong at a babyface Kim concert? Well, for some strange reason, Kim came out after Babyface. Huh? Huh? I'm going to really? say it again. For some strange reason, Kim came <laughs> out at, after Babyface. But it was the Babyface concert, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it was now billed my, as? I don't know what it was billed as. I know what got my mom out the house was Babyface's performing and chemistry is there. Okay. You just don't think that Kim is coming on after Babyface. So Babyface Baby goes out there and does and does 90 minutes of nothing but hits. <laughs> and okay, your turn. <laughs> you can't follow that. No, they <laughs> start leaving. They yeah. left. Babyface is a little older. Maybe he's like, nah, give me the early shit. So yeah, he might have had somewhere to be. Yeah. Because yeah, I, can't, be I can't make gonna sense be of that. Kim should have had somewhere to be, too. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm... <laughs> wow, yo. I like him. Me, too. But but that shouldn't have it's, happened. Yeah, come on. And he shouldn't have agreed. He shouldn't have allowed should that. He should not. It's like having the chili that's going on at the end of the game. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that was dope and all that, but... <laughs> little flip, <laughs> little flips. Fam, come on. Um, yeah. It's... it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's nothing else to say right, yeah, about right. it. Um, that's all I got for these festivals. That lineup is crazy. That lineup. Yeah, is this nuts. is nuts. Something in the water. Yeah. Black. Both of them shits. <laughs> Ida Kunle Gold, Shanti Jaru. Listen, just look it up. Yeah. Just look it up because there's a lot of lot of great acts out there. It might be a good summer if I could get out the house. <laughs> if I could get to some of these functions. Yeah. That's you just gotta go. You just gotta get go. Facts. Just buy a ticket. Mm-hmm. Just gotta go. So then you have to go. Yeah, no, be, I'll buy a ticket. Yeah, you be old and lazy. Yeah, you gotta really just put it in action. Exactly, because you be like, there's yeah, been yeah, times I bought this ticket Thursday. You like, yeah, 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 oh, we man, going Saturday. Nigga be like, yo, uh, just don't feel like it, bro. Yeah, you gotta That's really right. get up and say, yo, I'm doing this. All right, this is what it is. Treat it like you get excited. I got my fit ready. You got you got to do one of those. Otherwise, you just fuck around and get old and be like, all right, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm playing step in the name of love this summer. I'm gonna look at you funny. Just, just. Yeah, we so need, you know. is, is there is there a good cover at least? We we'll be yeah. in the middle somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah come I'm, on. I'm just I'm listening to it. I'm listening to it. The one, not the re-recording. I'm going. What what they gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just gonna like I said, I'm just gonna look at you funny. That's, That's it. For listening to "Step in the Name of Love," for playing it like that at the kickback. I'm not letting. Yeah. I'm not letting. I'm not kicking back with niggas. I'm a homebody. I'm, oh, I'm home they by myself. Jam. Well, I ain't gonna, turn I ain't gonna know. Do what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna I ain't know what you're doing in your career by yourself. I ain't gonna be on instant live. Like, hey, yo. <laughs> I could play a song and not think he's innocent. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the kids trained us into that shit, yo. I could. Yeah, I'm not doing this with you. They got you too. Um, they ain't got me. <laughs> nigga, half my favorite artists did it. <laughs> oh my lord, yo! <laughs> All right, moving right along. Uh, so the cops, so the cops went in ASAP Rocky's house and executed a warrant, and they found weapons. None of the weapons match the uh, weapon used in the alleged shooting. Uh, it was reported that they allegedly have video of the shooting. Oh man. And all the guns they found were lawfully purchased, legally registered. Like, oh, okay, this is legit. Oh, so he's true. Aha, uh-huh. exactly. Good friend. Why don't take they put- that twelve? Okay. <laughs> Where's he? Yeah, now, 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 and now y'all fix my gate. Oh, okay. Now y'all fix my gate <laughs> and my door and whatever else y'all bust to get in here. That is true. I just hate that they're going through all this while Rihanna's pregnant. Like that's just the nasty part. Like anything that happens with the baby daddy affects. 
Mm-hmm. Got a child. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only part that's nasty. Hopefully he'll be fine. Um, what else? There's nothing else in music, right? Please, please say no. I don't I think mean, so. Please say there's it. nothing more. I think that's it, bro. I think all we right. covered all the music. We out of here. With well, unless you want to talk about the uh, the white girl rapper. <laughs> you will bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> give, it, give it to us Yeah come on There's a, a white girl Rapping little baby songs On the internet And it, everyone was talking about it And mm-hmm. she got famous off of it And that's weird <laughs> <laughs> No it's some more mm-hmm. It's yeah, some more. more But Drake followed her? No they got her saying The N word I think mm-hmm. Quick In Quick summer. Quick open Quick close <laughs> Hey 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 Oh they gonna cancel me I'm not mad at how she used it <laughs> She's talking to Raccoon <laughs> What? She was called a raccoon, a nigga. <laughs> I, I be wondering. I got a stance. Nah, 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 I got to take. I got to take. I got to take. Are you sure it was raccoon? Because <laughs> that could be double problematic. Oh my god! Yo, Yo Jesus, oh, Mary and Joseph. Man. I'm just if she was saying racist shit, like. <laughs> See, a bobcat. Oh, uh, and I'm joking. She shouldn't use the word. No. Uh, but what's our take? Come on, why y'all just why are we making like, people? Hey, to why do we care about absolutely this nothing? Shit. Why do we care? She why knows the lyrics to songs. Cool, man. Exactly. Neat. Nah, hey. Nah, it was impressive to me too, though, because there's a lot of words in that song. Mm-hmm. To know all of them words. But that's a real white girl thing to do, like sit in your room and learn all the words to the song that nobody knows all the words to, <laughs> and then do it at a wedding with your little white girlfriend. With a Bud Light and head. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, yeah. Don't I don't understand. Care. I, just don't I understand. wish we stopped Good for her. doing this shit. Good for her knowing rap songs. <laughs> Word. <laughs> like, y'all will make a motherfucker famous. Word. Word. Quick. For very little. And then get mad when you uncover something from their past. Like, now nah, you know you get you mad. Didn't, you didn't know them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, nah, you, yeah. Get, you get mad when they get rich and buy. You see, they bought a sixteen million dollar house somewhere because y'all dumb motherfuckers made them rich, and now you mad at them. Yeah, now mm-hmm. you mad at Black Lives Matter. Y'all knew what the hell. <laughs> y'all knew what the hell was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the people they're supposed to be mad at, they never get mad at. Only me. <laughs> oh, Come on, they mad yeah, at me. I just want to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, well, I'm just you. You're trying to cancel you again. Come I'm on, let's, down to let's, let's. What, what you did this time, Joe? Yeah, I wasn't even trying to say they're trying to ca- I mean, they just. They try to cancel yeah, me every, yeah, every year. I, I try to work Once a year. year, every other year. <laughs> yeah, every other week. Every other few months. Uh, but this time, you know the drill. Uh, they take a clip from the podcast, put their caption underneath it, and spin it for their audience how they want it to be spun. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what happened here in our discussing of the Meg topic or mine, uh-huh. which was a very nuanced talk. Uh, it was going kind of jumping around. And then I made an example. I wasn't comparing. I made an example. And then they all said, oh, he's comparing this situation to that situation, which is always nasty, yeah. especially when... Uh, Domestic violence is involved. So I understand that. But these blogs are political. I know that. And there's business in that. Like, in that particularly. like Yeah, no question. Click, they make money. This. Yeah. <laughs> My thing is, uh, there is an important conversation to be had here. Unfortunately, we can't have it. Yeah, there's really no way to, no way to do it. There's yeah. no way to have it. I, I keep saying, bro. It's a few that need to be had. In, in society, uh, politically, uh, like, mash, you just can't really have them. You can't have them. No. You can't today. even have them in a real helpful way. You know what I'm saying? Some of these topics, not this particular topic, Fair. but other topics in today's society, we can't even have them if we miss an information or we're curious about how you feel like that. You can't have them today. Dog, today yes, you can't have the discourse. You, you you can't even ask questions. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you like can't ask. Say, if you I don't, don't know the information, you want more information. I'm not even. I'm just asking to learn. Right. And it's. I just would like more information, and you cannot ask. Can't. It's it's. Yo, certain topics. This you just is can't bring them up. Yeah. I, I personally, I just leave them alone completely. Yeah. There's no careful way to navigate, so I just stay the fuck out the way. And unfortunately, you don't get information that way. Like, let's just say Parks is a white guy. I'm a black guy. Mm-hmm. If we really wanted to sit down and have conversations about certain shit, in today's society, it's hard to do. With, maybe not with a white man and a black man, but with mm-hmm. two different people. 
Mm -hmm. that are experiencing different walks of life, today it's hard to even sit down with them like good point. and have a conversation because people are going to take any negative thing or any question that might be or 50 lack of 50. knowledge. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm talking about you're literally trying to get to some common ground and understand somebody else, mm -hmm. and you can't. No, True. it's either it's either you be all for me or... Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's it. That's yeah. it. There is no in-between. I saw people saying that we hate certain people just because we said, all right, let's just get more information on this. Oh, that means you hate this person. You hate people like this person. Like, no, I don't hate anyone. I'm just trying to learn here before I just jump out and say something that I could be wrong about. Right. With anything, I'm trying to get as much information as I can, use my brain, make a logical decision, and then say it. Yeah. Yeah, like I got a lot of you can't tell victims how to heal or how long it should take them to heal. Okay. That's true. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to say it. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. So... Even in that, new news has came out about the Rob Kardashian and Black China child. So this is kind of indicative of the opposite. But you don't hear the same uproar that you hear when... Let's go through it a little bit. Rob Kardashian testified Wednesday that he feared for his life on a night in 2016 when his then fiance Black China pointed a gun at his head pulled a phone charging cable around his neck and repeatedly hit him with a metal rod while under the influence of substances. Oh, shit. She strangled me. She put a gun to my head twice. She was on cocaine and alcohol. Uh, his voice uh, rising nearly to a shout in the courtroom. Uh, China is suing Rob Kardashian's mother, Kris Jenner, and sisters, Kim, pardon me, Chloe and Kylie, alleging that they spread false reports of her assaulting him in order to have her keeping up with the Kardashian spinoff Rob and China canceled. And ruined her reality TV career. And that's where you want to have to talk, yo. You want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want she to. want to abuse him and still get a show with him. <laughs> <laughs> the closing argument of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Johnny Depp just played the audio. Johnny Depp's lawyer just played the audio of Amber Heard that was saying. The closing argument. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah, that was yeah. it. That was it. Of Amber Heard saying, oh, please, go, go I tell. wish you would go tell them that. Just tell them that this is domestic violence. Let's see if they believe you. <laughs> and she had, but no, that comes from somewhere. Yeah. That comes from a level of entitlement that people have. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, tell them. I dare you. You're going to sound like a bitch, number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Telling them. Number two, they never going to believe you. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you have been conditioned to the point where you believe that you are above the law. It's like when the cops damn they tell you, yeah, call them, call whoever you want to call. Mm -hmm. Fuck out of here. What they what they gonna do? That's this. It's a, it's a similarity almost. So like where you feel that nobody's gonna. She was punching him. They got they got clips where he's recording her and she's hitting him and she's like, stop being a bitch. I couldn't really hurt you. I didn't hurt you. I wasn't punching you. Punching you. She's saying that. That's crazy. To her, him. Audio. Her voice. Audio. Uh, her voice. Not a recollection. It's her on the tape uh, saying it. I ain't heard cancel culture say a word about it. Not nothing. I haven't heard a peep out of anyone about anything. And Ice is right. You can't have this conversation. But boy, thank God Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp was recording. Mm -hmm. And just, I saw a petition going around with had damn near 2.2 million signatures trying to get her removed off of uh, Aquaman 2 after this. Like, they are trying to cancel her to an extent. Like, mm -hmm. they've started, I should say. They're gotcha. trying to affect her. Well, no, they probably saw Aquaman 1. <laughs> I think that's what happened. But see, like, even, but look, look, look. All jokes, even making a joke on it. It's dismissive. It's, it's dismissive. It's dismissive. It is dismissive. Even that. Like, it's just what we had Fam, today. Uh, two months ago, a girl accused Chris Brown of rape. Mm -hmm. Imagine what happens if he did not keep the text messages and the voice notes. Right. He would spend a couple hundred thousand dollars to prove his innocence, knowing that you fucking innocent. She don't got to prove his guilt. The burden of proof ain't necessarily on that no more. It's believe him, which they should be believed, be sure, clear. Of course. 
But sometimes, fam, we've seen ample instances of motherfuckers lying. Yeah. If yo, he, but even when yo, but this is the thing. Even when the cops want to believe what you're saying, they ask questions. You could tell them what your alibi is, and mm-hmm. they're gonna ask you more questions right. just to make sure. Right, <laughs> right, right. I don't know why we can't ask questions today. And see, that's why I get so triggered. I can speak about my own personal experience, right? Like, I get triggered because that's what happened to me. I talk about it all the time. I went to court for three fucking years, spent all of this money, and they was gonna send my ass up the river. If not, for a nosy neighbor recording something and letting me know that she had to record it for me to show it to court. She had to go find it in an old phone somewhere for me to show the court. Hey, this young lady that you're saying all these horrible things I did, she got in my car, we was chilling, I drove home, that was that. Now, once they saw that, oh, this case is this is out of here. <laughs> this is the and bad. even that, it took them a little while. But once they saw that, then it was it was over. Thank nope. the Lord. You know what happened? And and that's oh. the conversation that you kind of want to try to have. I read the transcripts from court. This is in a courtroom under oath. This is not pod talk. And that shit say he shot at me and I got back in the car. It's a normal question to say, why'd you do that? Am I off? No. No. No, you're not off. Now, here's the problem today, and in certain instances today. Who the fuck are you to ask why? Exactly. You're, you're, you even asking why is now viewed as an attempt to dismiss the victim or potential victim. So when that happens, that's the way it's framed. No, it's going to say you're that. asking it questions. It don't matter why. No, 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 no. Why don't you just believe? No, because you're asking because you're asking questions in attempt to discredit this person. So it means you don't believe them. That's the way it's taken. I'm not saying that's the intent. That's the, when you start asking these questions. Why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? Well, you're supposed to just believe victims. Why are you asking these questions to begin with? Nah. That's the way it's framed. The young lady that is going on this rant about me. She's documented after all the abuse stuff saying. My abuser is my emergency contact. If I were ever in a jam, that's the person I would call to save me from the jam. That don't beg a fucking question? Mm. No, because you can't say nothing. No, not so much. Not to me so much. Tell me. A situation could have happened. How could you explain that? I'm about to. Situation could have happened. And the gentleman could be dead wrong. I believe today he would think he was dead wrong. I can't speak for him. I don't know him. Never met him. Of course. But I would think Mm -hmm. if you asked him, he would say I was dead wrong. He'd want to reprieve. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. They made up. They are at some level of common ground where their friendship may now still have gotten back intact. I love you. I trust you. We can't necessarily be in this space. And let me finish. I didn't say you ready though. <laughs> we can't necessarily Cause I agree because you're right. We can't be in this space anymore on an intimate level of that type of uh, uh, nature. But if something would happen to me, I know you love me and you got my back, so I know you would handle the situation but if accordingly. That, beautiful. I, that right, makes sense because I have a question to that. If that's been repaired, like we friends, right? So when you speak, I expect you to speak to how. The friendship is mm-hmm. and how firm it is. Because so if we've so. been repaired, why would you? Then why would you go back to when we weren't repaired or mm-hmm. such a dark, horrible time? Why would you take every instance to tear me down if you if we've been repaired? Or it could be if you've healed. I, I I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate now, but I don't know if that happened. I didn't never see that happen, but um, it could be brought up to help somebody else that was going through that. If it's brought up with the intent to tear the other person down or tear the then man that down, would be wrong. then that's terrible. But if it's brought, somebody else has gone through it and they like, look, sis, I've been there. I, I'm going to help you using my own instance and my own experience to help you, then I, I think that's fair game. But if it's only brought up to tear down the person. You know what? Let me, you're right. Let me, use, let me use me. Let me use me. Because I, I feel comfortable speaking about me and in my shit. Yeah, and in my case, I don't want to hear no more shit about nothing. If we done been in the club together, we done been on TV together, we done been in the hookah spot together mad times, I bought a mattress from you, you was trying to fuck me, you wanted to get back. Like, that's what I'm saying, yo. 
That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Basically, yeah. if we got past it, let's be past it. Let's be past it. It's kind of what you're saying. But no. don't, but don't weaponize some shit because you're mad at something else. Don't be mad that your abuser won't get back with you. So now he's just an abuser for the rest of like, huh? No, but it might be that that, that it's a motive. Uh, does that make sense? No. Okay. Now you were saying what? Zero. But in that instance, there may be a motive. No of, shit. Of self interest. No, maybe not just tearing you down. The motive might not be to tear you down. The motive might be a a, a self self interest. Yeah. I like that. But you can't never pinpoint that because the conversation is so sensitive. So you can never sure. ask questions to find out if there's self-interest involved in this. Gotcha. I'm shutting up because I probably can't. have spoken more than I was supposed can't. to speak mm-hmm. on this, but... A man can't. No. I won't. We need to invite somebody here so we can have these conversations. I'm going to find a lady. We need to invite, like, some type... I need to invite Dr. Jen hmm. or, like, somebody here to, like, really unpack that... And that's all I'm saying in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's, even that was a lot. Yo, yeah. shout out to all domestic violence victims, survivors, uh, just so we're clear. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I know y'all love to take the clip and nobody here is in support of, like, we are all against domestic violence. Absolutely. So No matter what y'all say about us. Yeah, like, <laughs> we are all against it. So don't, Try to spin this to oh they 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 promote no 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 it's none of that. We want to be able to, and I'm not even talking about domestic violence. This is about just anything that comes across my phone screen. I think we want to be able to just ask some questions about things, not in attempt to tear nobody down, just not in to attempt to discredit anybody. We just want information with anything. A little kid come up and tell you something. You're gonna ask him a question to find out. All right, so what else happened? Okay, how did that happen? Okay, to, to try to put the story together. Right. It's just, it's, it's, anybody with a brain just wants to know more information before they open their mouth. Well, you would think. <laughs> you would think. Um, What else do we got here? We have, uh, we did the white girl rapping, right? Mm. Uh, Terry Crews issued an apology for his insensitive, inconsiderate, nasty statements uh, around the time of, damn, cops have killed so many of us, I don't remember now what time that was was that uh george floyd it may have been yeah i think it was george floyd where or eric garner one or the other but terry cruz came out with like just the most (sighs) you know we've been killing him for a while Mm -hmm. uh but he's apologized okay he he said it was wrong he understands the error in his ways he said he loves black people he said a lot of shit in his apology. Uh, I don't really have much to say about it, but I just thought it was important for people to know that he did attempt to apologize. Hey, I'm not against nobody apologizing. If they saw the error in their ways and they learned from it, you know, I'm, I'm not against an apology because we all, nobody's perfect and we we're, all reserve the right to just it, learn. Yeah, I was going to say, we're all learning every single day. So exactly. I think we should actually applaud and normalize uh, apologies yeah. and learning. And learning. It's okay to apologize. It's okay to be wrong. Own it. Everyone is perfect on the internet. And that's the only place. To <laughs> that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you, especially if you talk for a living, as Terry does, as all, we all do, as mm-hmm. a lot of people that become internet fodder do, you're probably going to say some shit that's wrong at some point. It is mm-hmm. what it is. But as long as you apologize and move forward, we my, should be accepting th- of that. My, yeah. thing with, my thing with apologies are, the words don't really mean that much to me. I don't really care about that. Show me that you apologize. Show me that you, you know, yeah, show me an action. Don't Uh, repeat that mistake. Like you could. Yeah. Okay. You you know what I'm saying? I've learned from this. I'm never doing that again. It it was fucked up. I truly apologize. Oh shit. my, My words hurt people. Sometimes, yo, it takes you actually hurting somebody to realize the power that your words have. Absolutely. You don't know that when you just talking. Yeah. I used to talk like on my timeline and shit and I never realized I was hurting people until yeah, somebody pulled me people. to the side and was like, yo, dogs, that fucked me up what you said, bro. Right. And I'm like, word? Like, you know I'm playing? Nah, that fucked me up. Hmm. And then that's when it hit you. You don't know your reach. 
you don't you don't know not even the reach you don't know I'm saying me you know how your words in, impact it, someone exactly else. Yeah. that's what it, you don't know the impact that it has it could be somebody that I speak to regularly it ain't about the reach it's just you don't I don't realize that oh shit what I'm saying is really affecting I mean, yeah, yeah that's happened in fuck the internet and uh, podcasts and blogs and all that shit that happens sometimes in regular life you'll be at a party or somewhere and you say some shit and someone overhears it and they think you said something crazy about them or something you mm-hmm. know what I mean like that shit happens all the time it could be a dress right there though True, but you know sometimes it's a little, it's sometimes a little, someone some, might not feel like there's yeah. a spot for it. It's a True. a wedding or a gotcha. funeral or mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like there's been plenty of situations I've seen where people have dragged out a thing just from a side conversation. Mm-hmm. Like it's not real beef, but but yeah, back back like I said, I'm all for apologizing with action, meaning it, meaningful apologies. Like don't just say it because I got don't apologize because I got caught and and there's some repercussion now. Uh, yeah, like I, those I hear, the ones I don't fuck with. I hear you, but I also I don't like judging apologies. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, but what did you do to f- fix it? Like just because you may have said something wrong, you don't got to fix it. If you sincerely thought you were wrong, uh-huh. you shouldn't repeat that. You try action. to stay away from. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. That's that. that. oh, so that's you, apology to change you. behavior. Gotcha. People gotcha. will gotcha. verbally right. beat your ass verbally yeah. mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. And then apologize. And when they apologize, they look at you and like, I said I'm sorry. Right, right. And then the next week, they they'll right beat back. your ass again yeah. and apologize right, again. Right. That's not an apology right. to me. It's like the it's like the person, now we on this topic, it's like the person, the dude that comes home and whoops his wife's ass three, four times a week. He's apologizing every single time he blacks your eye. Nigga, you're not sorry. Right. Because you're going to do the same shit next. I already know it's coming. Right. You're going to do the same shit next week. So you, you're not sorry. Yeah, I feel you. Because I think apologies in action, mm-hmm. sure, are change, apologies. change behavior, change behavior. Can, at, the, at the bare minimum. Change that's what behavior. I. Think. That's what I. You know what I'm saying? Like you. you, you're not really sincere. You're just saying some shit that sounds good, right? Yep. Fuck out of here. Can we just take a moment to applaud the Giants? Yeah, the Giants were big winners two days ago. To me, fact to everybody, the Giants and the Jets. Uh, Detroit. Detroit, I liked. Uh, Baltimore, I liked, even though they traded away Hollywood Brown, which I, you know, I don't know if I love that, but Whoa. I get it. They ranked them. Who's that? Every, like the experts will rank they every team. Baltimore up high? They got an A+. Plus. A plus. Oh, okay, yeah. What was the Giants ranking? A+, plus, I'm sure. It should be. I'm sure it, it should be. Plus. celebrating the Giants, man. No, yeah. because I, I, I have not experienced that with my <laughs> sports teams. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. Yo, they got a meme of you standing next that. to the TV. Oh, uh, when yeah, Danny Dimes got <laughs> drafted. Pick Danny Dimes. That was funny. So you that was know, Giants got an A. Dan, they left our plus off. <laughs> Could have been a plus. Well, that Danny Dimes draft is only funny because of the two names that went right after him. Right. Studs. <laughs> now, at the time, I was jumping up and down because I'm like, you need a quarterback. Going, Dwayne Haskins is there. And Yeah, you... I remember we had the conversation. Rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. But yeah, there was some other studs. Yeah, there was on that board that there they was. could have taken. As a as a Knicks fan, uh, the Knicks have not extended any of their rookies since Charlie Ward. Mm-hmm. So clearly, they're not in the business of developing talent and keeping the homegrown talent. The Yankees used to always be in the business of just buying the biggest name out there. Thanks. And now, for some reason, they've changed that business model, and the Mets do it. <laughs> you know what's crazy with the Yankees, though? The Yankees would do that, but they still, still had, the, had the foundational pieces. Like I think to win, I think to win, you need superstars and you need the good regular Joe Schmoes. Yeah. Like the Yankees had both, yo. The Yankees. Were known. Oh yeah, they were going. Oh no, they're gonna spend that bread. Farm system. No, I'm talking about the Joe Schmoes were good. The Paul O'Neills, the the Tinos, them niggas would. Oh, those those guys that you name. Yeah. But they wasn't superstars. I'm about, like, oh yeah, that's what you're saying. I'm talking about I mean. the farm system. I'm talking about the 17, 18, oh, 19, 19 year old olds oh, okay. that are in yeah, the gotcha, gotcha, that gotcha. we waiting for you to mm-hmm. come up and we're developing the talent, right? So the Yankees just spent. Now the Mets are spending, and the Giants, they never. I don't remember. I don't remember watching a draft and feeling like I felt last night. Uh, so the Jets come up at pick four. Mm-hmm. Actually, let's start at pick one. Because all the analysts told me that this white boy was going first, and Jacksonville gets up there and picks the black guy. Cool. 
Well, that means that Aiden, uh, Aiden Hutchinson is second. Mm-hmm. And here choice. come and here come the Texans picking somebody. Nobody had Derek Stingley Jr. going at three to the Texans. Many people didn't have him going before Sauce. He's fighting an ankle injury. Mm-hmm. Like, got footage of being that dude, but three off an of injury? And then Sauce goes four to the Jets. Good pick. Great pick for the Jets. I think if they didn't pick Sauce, then the Giants take Sauce at five, probably. And I might not have loved that. I might not have no, loved that the for the Giants. Position, uh, premium player, premium position at that spot. That's where you want to spend. You don't want to because the, the first ten. Well, the, this is the problem: is I'm, that the first ten picks get paid substantially higher than the rest of the draft. It's on a scale, so and you don't want to get in a position where you're paying a guard twenty five million dollars because you picked him second. And that and that's typically how everybody drafts. And so I think they just draft the premium guy at four or five. They don't necessarily draft their need. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like their I mean, core need. Different, the different approaches. Some people take best player available. Some mm-hmm. players pick the best. Go down a little pick. more. But you, a quarterback, you're okay with paying $20 million course, plus. Dollars. Course, a course, wide course. receiver, a quarterback, you're okay with paying that. You don't necessarily want to do that with a, a safety or a guard or a running back or something like that, typically. I don't even do it with the receivers. but So they get to five, the Giants. Yeah, market didn't change. And I thought they would fuck it up. I, I never looked at Tibbs because Tibbs wasn't supposed to be there at five. No, he was projected to be like a first, second, maybe third pick. Yeah. And the slip they had was him going fourth to the Jets. I never looked at him. So when they took him, I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> because now it plays out. Now you know that the Panthers are going to take fucking Icky. I thought they were going to take a quarterback, honestly. Hell no, no, I ain't taking a fucking quarterback. Panthers are needy, but I get it. I get it. they did the, the right thing. I think now you have your pick between Icky, Evan Neal, and Charles Cross at pick seven. Mm-hmm. The three best uh, offensive line. Yeah, that couldn't have worked out better. Uh, Evan Neal's a beast. He is play either side. He's a beast, and that that's gonna help because yeah. the Giants. Are, hey, offensive line is trash. But yeah. Evan Neal and Andrew Thomas bookends finally. That's nice. That's Finally, nice. yeah. I watched the Giants draft offensive linemen for ten years and miss. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Willie Hernandez just left. Our draft pick, our offensive lineman draft pick from a year, two years ago. He's out of here. Mm. Like so, this is this, that was just great. Not only as a Giant fan, but as a New Yorker for the Jets to go draft good. Gary Wilson. Wilson at ten, stud, stud. I like the uh, Ohio State receivers. The Jets got two picks that I thought the Giants might pick if they tried to get cute. And what I like about the new regime that uh, is over there from uh, Buffalo. Mm-hmm. They ain't trying to get cute. To the basics. We build it. To the yeah, basics. Well, yeah, yeah, right, basically starting from not scratch, but close to it. And the biggest move of the night for me from the Giants is the new brass not picking up the fifth-year option on Danny Dimes. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, you guys could be in play for uh, Malik Willis. In the second round. Second round. Potentially. He's on the board. Yeah. I think we are picked 34 or 35. It ain't so but, right there. Yeah. It ain't but three or four teams picking before us. You think they'll do that? They might do they it. Might do I don't that. think the Giants have a first round pick this year. Yo, listen to his voice. Yo, they might. Yo, they might. They you got to understand, when you've been let down, they're the fourth, you go update they're your, the fourth update your draft round. meme. Like, show me now. What would you say, Parks? Fourth pick in the second round, and Tennessee's ahead of them. They got a quarterback. Minnesota's ahead of them. And Jacksonville, right? Uh, Tampa Bay, actually, which you could they potentially <laughs> see them do it, yeah. They'll do it. Because Tom, Just a fuck Tom around. ain't staying there. Mm. We'll I believe that Tom Brady, uh, Miami Dolphins rumor. Me too. By the way, I Me believe too. in that. Yeah. All the way. To a degree. 100%. Yeah, to a degree. My degree is 100%. <laughs> <laughs> My degree. I believe it. I mean, yeah. it's... It, it. That's why all them sports niggas kept saying, I don't think he's done. <laughs> Stop it, man. That would have been the best move I've ever seen in sports. <laughs> to retire, <laughs> be the co-owner, and then quarterback for the team that you're co-ownering. That's like some 50s football shit. That's fire. <laughs> Player coach? Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Moon shit. And if there's yeah. one person that could have done it, it's him. Yeah. It was Tom, it's man. Tom. Shout out to the uh, Giants for a great draft. I yeah, uh, can't wait to see, can't wait to see what happens tonight. Giants, Lions, and Jets had the best uh, best draft to me. I was just looking at the grades. There's a lot of A's and A pluses. 
on them teams in this uh in this draft. Yeah. Like everybody fucking Cowboys was, had a C. Dallas did what? They got a, a receiver? Oh, C. They got a tackle. Tackle, tackle. tackle. Oh yeah, they got an offensive lineman. Yeah. Offensive. I think it was a tackle to replace uh what's the name? Steelers win got a QB. Yeah, Pittsburgh Steelers guy, got man. Steelers got their guy. Ice, what do you think? They wanted uh they wanted him, they got him. Yeah. That's it. He looks Ain't like a quarterback. He's six, yeah, everything six, I've read. Five, I, I don't you know what I mean? follow the college, you know, players that much, but everything I've read was this is the guy for the next decade. Okay. Homegrown looks- kid. Yeah. So I'm not mad at it. Let's see if Still he can draft. Let's three, see if so. he can beat out uh, Trubisky. What, it, that, that, what what the last thing I read was, <clears throat> even if he don't beat out Trubisky. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, no, Mitch is going to be. Mitch yeah, might yeah. still be all right. Yeah, Mitch we don't might know yet. be okay this year. Which, that's what right. I was thinking. I wasn't mad at Mitch. Not me either. I just didn't want. I'm not mad at. It. I'm saying let's see if he can beat him because uh, when, they have, when they when they having a quarterback a quarterback competition and you don't expect for this guy to beat this guy and he does it anyway. Oh, got you. It's like oh shit. Oh, shit. Now, now we have we a, now we have decision to make. See what I what I think at the quarterback position. I think it's damn near better to let them chill for the year. For sure. I agree. I agree 100%. with that. No bullshit. Unless they want to learn so that's coming right out Yeah, the very few. How it's many? only few. It's only few. Very nah, but few. you can learn on the field. You can, but I'm talking about if you're great enough from to, the quarterback. If your brain works fast enough. But from the quarterback position, the game is way more mental than physical. And it's a different game like when not, you get to that level. Yeah. So yeah. the mental shit, like the, some of the greats, they sat on the bench. Yeah. If you got someone Fucking that, Mahomes a, was sitting on the bench. Yeah. If you got someone solid the there, I think it's better to. Let him sit on the bench for you. I think I think Most it, it fares better for them, long term. Or then you get in a situation like the Chargers did, or like a whole it's handful of teams, teams did, did where it. someone gets injured and now the rookie is started. Mm-hmm. True. And Yo, don't we have enough information now in just the quarterbacks in the draft and how they're drafted to never listen to the analysts again when it comes to quarterbacks? The analysts just be I, talking. Yo. I was like, about to say, Mitch, I don't Mitch think Trubisky it, going before Pat Mahomes. What were y'all seeing on film, right? Like Lamar Jackson being the last pick that in the was, first round, that was, and Josh Rosen, y'all and all. I mean, he, he, that, like, that was that. They go into the traditional. That's the league. Shit. Yeah, the league. The league typically frowning upon yeah. black but that quarterbacks. Shit that, like the shit that um, Mahomes does, you can't. I don't know if you show that in the workout. I don't even think like Justin. he shines, my nigga, right. in the in the botch. And shit. also, you also, you do have to put some credence into landing in a great system with sure. a great quarterback to learn from, like, like Lamar. I'm not sure that. I'm not obviously Mahomes is that dude. If he goes to Chicago, I don't know that he he's might not be Mahomes. System Mahomes. matters, yo. System, System matters. matters. It does. Coaches it does. matter because, like L- Lamar, they modified that whole team to right. fit his game. Baltimore's not that many teams would have done that in, in football. Not that many teams would have modified everything we already do for you, right? A rook, a twenty year old. A lot of motherfuckers won't do that. So you, you, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like he wouldn't have fit a traditional system. He wouldn't have went to. Other <laughs> well, that was that, that was the knock. That was the knock off the rip about Lamar Jackson yeah. that he's not gonna fit a traditional system. Like he can't, he, he's not even gonna succeed here. He can't throw. He don't have this. He just wants to run. It's not gonna work. Okay, let's design a system for him. Malik Willis reminds me. He just seems like how to explain how he could be like Lamar Jackson Jr. He could be. Could be. Like Junior Junior, not like right underneath Junior. Not junior, one Junior. junior. Yeah. Not too. He's probably say, a guy that you want to sit behind a, a, a bridge quarterback for a couple of years, most likely. Y'all worked your whole life playing football. You're a number one top prospect, been that way since high school. Now you're projected to be drafted in the top three. So, of course, you're invited to the draft. Do y'all choose to go to the draft or do you choose to watch it at home with your family? Ooh, I guess it That's depends on where it was. <sighs> I guess it would depend on where, where the draft it's in was. in Vegas. Give it to me. This, this year. Because I was really excited that uh, Trayvon Walker was home with his family. Yeah, I don't know the uh, the scene of the the living room with all the friends and family right there. Your girl, whatever that that shit is kind of fly. That's I like it. That's kind of fly. But like, that I, being said, if your family has a couple dollars, you can fly everybody out, and they can do the same shit in Vegas. If you, you drafted uh, one, two, or three already, you, you, I got to spend my my rookie money already. I'm in debt already. No, <laughs> said if your family got some bread, he yeah, said, I said your family. He said if your family got some. Some of these some kids come from good family, you know, wealthy families. You know what the NFL draft didn't give me this year, man. And let me not, yeah, no, they didn't give it to me in the, in the first round. That's the only place it could happen. I didn't get my CD Lamb moment. <laughs> I was waiting for it. CD the closest Lamb we got, got was drafted. the, uh, uh, what's the name that the Jets drafted? The receiver walked the wrong way. Like, yeah, yeah, that was no fun. That's, that's not fun. That was, that was no that's fun. That's an easy mistake. What's no, that was CD sauce. Lamb, that, that was sauce that walked the wrong oh, way. Oh, sauce? Okay. Yeah. 
Ceedee yeah. Lamb, when he got drafted, Show was home with his family with Show the, uh, with the white girl. She tried to take his phone. <laughs> <laughs> she took his phone. <laughs> so give me this fucking phone. So fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> I wanted to see that. And the year before, we got a similar something with a girlfriend. Yo, why do girlfriends do that at a draft? Cause nigga, it's camera shit time. Everybody no, want to be. Cause famous. that's the time to find out who your other chicks is. I know your other chicks are hitting you, saying congratulations. <laughs> Let me see. No, and that that is the time to get a little nervous too. Now, oh, oh yeah. Oh my man, I've been loving on. Just got drafted <laughs> to the Cowboys. <laughs> I'm searching shit. his phone. <laughs> that's, that's so funny. I'm look. searching that's that phone. Look. look, give me that phone, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he was looking at one. He just did the shit subconsciously, like <laughs> my phone. Yo, what the fuck is you doing? If that's you got funny. if you got drafted, would you want only your girl to be texting you? <laughs> I'm asking. I'm asking. Him. What you mean? Like in this moment, like I'm a 19 year old kid. Hell no, no. This girl <laughs> sitting right next to him. I know. So she's saying, "It better not, she better not have nothing on that yeah, phone." Uh, yeah, all right. You better. It's, it's gonna be more than this. Phone. You got your own phone, right? It's still the first round. You do understand? <laughs> no, she has two phones. Your phone and hers. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the first round. I'm drafted. It's, get used to it. You seen how yeah, his yeah, sister looked at him? Yeah. You're a Viking. I need. Fam, some, come on. You think I need she, sisters, you think, yo? Come on, bro. <laughs> Yeah, my sister was gonna learn she her one real quick. Turn. Y'all got sisters? Yeah. Not Parks. Yeah. I know you got sisters. I have two. You have two sisters. They're younger though. They don't get busy. They don't? No, nah, the young the young sibling be the, the they one. Not, they not. No, I'm just saying the young wild. sibling they, be the one. Yeah. That um, mean. come on, let's let's get to it. Uh NBA playoffs. Yeah. NBA playoffs. I heard y'all. I heard all y'all. Y'all was ready to pop shit in my mentions. Y'all was going. Oh, yeah, y'all going to blow it. Yeah, six is going to lose it in seven. I heard everything y'all said. And right away, you know what the conversation so, went to? So, so did Doc Rivers. You know what the conversation went to right away? Yeah, but y'all can't beat Miami. Like, don't change it. No, let's stay here, though. So I want all that smoke that y'all, yo, they was lined up. I don't up. think niggas really thought Toronto was going to be Philly. Nobody thought that, yo. Yeah. When that shit when But that's the point dog, of, a, of a colla uh collapse. colossal collapse and choke. And with Doc Rivers, it was very possible. I think Doc Rivers see that doesn't that like just that. be born. I don't like yo. that. Yeah, I don't like that. That is be born. I liked what he said about that too. Even though he should he shouldn't have said that. That's what got him in trouble with Ben Simmons. He was like, yo, go look at that magic team that was the eighth seed that I that I coached. Go look at it. It's basically it's calling niggas bums. Or not just that. Talented, but it was in relation bad. It to other people. Team. Fam, you're known then, for the collapse. Uh, at this stop, point. stop. Yes, stop. you are. That's not true. Then, then the other one he said was the bubble. Anything can happen in the bubble. And he said the other one he owns, what? where Clippers. his team was great. The, the Clippers, Clippers was great. They, and they just choked. Team. They're a good team. That's the one you own. I don't yeah. think he's just a choke master. I didn't say he's a choke master. There's been collapses that happen under your on your watch. That's going to happen when you're no, no, the mul- ninth, ninth winningest coach of all time. Multiple collapses that's I'm, happened I'm right the there. I'm ninth winningest coach of all time. In recent memory. You can name two in the collapses. Same, back to back to back to back. It's oh. been, it's been, bro, this has been a thing. I like they it. didn't make it up. I, I like that. I, I like Doc a lot. I like Doc. I like Doc, I but like I'm just saying they, they didn't just grab this shit out of thin air. I'm a rock with the Clippers. The Clippers was some bullshit. That's the only one I'm gonna really give them. Come on, we on the playoffs. We all oh, cool. He, he, Doc Rivers in the playoffs. Let me ask you a question. How you think y'all truly fair against Miami? For him, listen, I told y'all I got my team coming out of the East. I told y'all that I'm okay, gonna still rock with my team. So how do I think we fair against Miami? I have my team coming out of the East. That means I have us getting past and Miami. In how many games? Ice. In what fashion? Dominant fashion? Like that's what we're asking. Six. Six. Philly and six, so he wins two games. Oh, you play them niggas the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, tough. It's always the I don't team. Know if y'all get the that, so he... team just ain't there. Boston's tough too. That don't mean I can't. East is pretty good Cri- this year, actually. I could, t- I could talk my shit. The critique, the sport, nigga. The Heat are good. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if I was a Philly. If I'm, you y'all know how I give it up. The Lakers, I'd be like, yeah, they're gonna beat us. Mm. I'll tell the truth. The Heat is good, man. The Heat is very good. They are good. Golden State is good. Sons are good. Sons are good, man. Chris Paul, what you said? Four, fourteen yo, to fourteen. You see these sports things, man. These guys are good. Yo, what, yo, what you said the other day? Fool's gold. I, I think the, the Suns fool's gold. Really? Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. They, there, there whoa. you go. Now you whoa. got you a fucking whoa. take. Now you got you a take. They fool's gold. I watched. I watched them. This thing is crazy. I watched. Get them. your shit on. They, they didn't look great. In they that can't series. defend. Yeah. They can't defend. 
Only motherfucker out there playing D is Bridges. They cannot defend. And I watched New Orleans push them to the limit on them games. New Orleans would have had a little bit more veteran leadership. They would have won game. Uh, what was three two? You also look. You also looking at them without Devin Booker. True, he came back, but he, you know, it's not but, all but you yeah, watch yeah. most of this. Yeah, series that's the without... case. New Orleans could say we ain't have Zion. Not the same not at all. It's not the same. Um, I don't know. Because I'm not talking about star power or what they bring to the team. I'm only talking about defense. I'm only talking about defense. So it's different when you have perimeter defenders out there. That's the thing about that. Yo, yo, I, I feel bad for that guy. What's his name? That uh, Ja Morant dunked on like that. Oh, Y'all changed God. his Wikipedia page to Ja Morant's son. <laughs> he is. Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley. Malik he Beasley ain't a bad player, number nah, one. Good. And two, boy, that perimeter defender in front of Ja stepped to the side. Oh, yeah, he uh-huh. did. Yeah, he did. He let that He go. stepped right to the side. If I'm a league Beasley, I'm punching dude in the face in the locker room. Why not? Look at this. Look at this. This has to be the worst perimeter D, and that's what I'm talking about with Devin Booker. Like, perimeter D changes things. Look at this. See, he looked like he about to guard some up. Feel for the... Oh, my God. Hey, and then they always throw their head, look. <laughs> Yo, he didn't <laughs> Don't really, run back on D. Uh, he didn't really step to the side. He, he, running, he, running. he played him to the pick, and my man thought he was going to have to go Damn, around the pick. He didn't do nothing. It was man, two people there that did nothing. That shit from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Giles is yeah, Malik, Malik. I'm too much of a bad sport for that. <laughs> Yo, I told y'all that Utah was fool's gold. Some you people did. here argued with me. Come you on, did. give it to me. You did. I didn't think Utah was I didn't, like good. I didn't think Utah was I I argue with you about Denver. I think Denver is very good. They won a game. I know. I think they're very good, though. I don't think Utah and Denver are the same. But it's cool. Both fool's gold. Both getting blown up soon. Maybe. I don't think they, I, I, think I don't think they're gonna break Denver sooner than later. I think they'll break up Utah before Denver. Yeah, because Denver always has the out that Murray's not there. Yeah, they can always lean on it. Our starting point guard is not there. Two starting point guards. Two. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what's Michael name? Porter Jr. Yeah, Michael Porter Jr. is not there yeah. either. So they we bad, can lean bad on bad that. back all stars. Yeah, yeah, like we can lean on that. <laughs> Fuck are y'all talking about? No, they really had. Yo, if they had them niggas with the bad backs, <laughs> <laughs> then they would really do some damage, huh? So I, I, that's what nah, I. Think. Utah, Utah might be getting blown Utah, up very they're gonna, soon. They're gonna do something. That's possible. They gotta make some changes. Like, this summer, yeah, something's gonna change over there. I don't think Dallas beats Phoenix, but I don't think Phoenix could beat. I think Golden State blows Phoenix out the gym. So you got Golden State going coming out the east, west. I'm mean, excuse me, out the west. I do. I, I've had that. I, I got Phoenix still. <laughs> Yo, gold Phoenix couldn't stop the Pelicans. Exactly. Golden State is high power HTO to H two O. Them niggas not playing, bro. I watched them play. They they put it up, and they play D. So I don't know. I'm gonna give Giannis his props. If Giannis comes out the East, I don't think they. The best player in the NBA. Tell, I don't see that happening. I don't think it's happening. I, I really hope. Uh, but with no Chris Middleton, if Giannis comes out the East, he's the best. I like Boston. I, I like want Milwaukee to beat Boston, Boston. Golden State. I want Milwaukee yeah. to beat Boston because hey, Alex, hey, that's that a good sounds like shit back there. If you're talking, <laughs> now yeah, I got I got a uh, Celtics Warriors. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Celtics. The, those are the most well-rounded teams that's left. If you and that's a good. I don't want to take a shot at Miami, but those are really well-rounded say, teams. Yeah. That's who, a good who do you matchup. have? Miami's very well-rounded. In uh, all aspects of the game, Miami's good. I like Miami a lot too. I have Golden State. I don't care who they play. You, and you had them from the beginning. Yeah, I don't care who they play. I got, um, I, as a Sixer fan, I'm sorry. I got Philly beating Miami. I told y'all in six. Golden State smokes any team in the East. I don't want to play Boston. Boston is scary to me because Jason Tatum has to continue to ascend, and he will. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is not a fluke. And that's a good matchup because they're good defensive guards versus good offensive guards. I don't like Boston that much. All right, I'm done with sports. I'm done. I'm, well, actually, y'all want to talk about Dwayne Wade? What happened with him? Uh, he was. <sighs> he said it. What he did? <laughs> what he, he said, Joe? He, 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 he said he used to, um, when he was young, he did a podcast. He said uh, when he was young, he used to wear his sister's clothing and heels and dresses and shit. Man, I don't feel no way about it. I mean, let's move on. I'm not, it doesn't shock me. But I mean, okay. What'd you feel? Hmm? You had a take? And no, not a new one. Uh-huh. 
Yo. <laughs> you have to edit out not a new one. What are you talking about? Yo, can we pot about anything yeah. anymore? <laughs> no, I was saying no if you had nigga. Take. I was saying if you had a take, I wasn't trying to be funny. You heard my take before on this. <laughs> I ain't saying it again. Huh? Say it. No. Uh, no. I'll tell you what. I'm glad that Dwayne Wade is sharing these details today. I'm glad that he's open and honest and feels free to speak about some of this stuff. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, Told you got to know how to play with them. You got to know how to play this game. <laughs> nah, I, I think um, he's putting on a fatherhood clinic. Because regardless of how he might personally feel, he still got to be supportive of his kid. You get what I'm saying? So if you being Dwayne Wade, the superstar, the athlete, the very uh, revered individual, can make your kid feel somewhat at ease. By saying whatever you're saying, and if it helps, then even if it's not true, you get what I'm saying. You say he don't mean it. I'm saying even if he didn't, that's my point. It puts, he's doing it for the he's kid. still doing it for my kid to make my kid feel more welcome, to make my kid feel better. Whatever mm. the case may be, to ease his kid along in transition, I think is dope. And there was another interview going around of Willow Smith <laughs> saying. <laughs> Saying she had a resentment with her mom because her mom wasn't wasn't such a uh, supportive part of her getting through her mental health issues and her depression and what's up with her? I, I I could go the rest of my she life had, without hearing anything forgive, else about that family. She had to forgive her mom for overlooking her anxiety. Okay. <sighs> I'm glad okay. they were you were able to forgive your mom and you guys have moved to a better place. Yeah. No, and thank God. I, I love that for you guys. Thank God. Praise him. Yes. Yeah, you moved my favorite pussy into my house. I'm gonna forget some shit too with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, y'all niggas ain't ate tonight. <laughs> oh, my bad. I was bugging. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we be right there, Parker. Yeah, right, right, right there. We be right there, and he just gotta grab the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> just me, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all so yep. full of shit. I shoot shit. Yo, come on, come on. Yep, uh, just you. <laughs> toes look like. Oh, oh man, it's good. You know, niggas ain't the best dads when their favorite pussy is around. Stop, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you said what? Go, 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 go play. Yeah. Go play out there. Them, them, them knives. Go on this door. Go knock on this door, okay? Uh, can I get some chips? You know where you're at. <laughs> you know where everything is. Get that ladder. Climb up the ladder. Get the little step stool. My kids calling me daddy. Yeah, my favorite pussy's calling yo, me daddy. Yo, who, <laughs> who do I choose? <laughs> Which daddy am I today? <laughs> Decisions to stop. How do I weigh it? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, <laughs> yo, go ahead, Uber Eats. Go ahead. You got a phone right <laughs> From the iPad. Can <laughs> <laughs> I get your ass? Come on. <laughs> These are jokes, people. <laughs> these are jokes. I know sometimes y'all don't know how to take us, but these are jokes. Oh, Kevin Durant, Charles Barkley still going at it. Are they? Oh, my oh, God. My oh God. man, yo. <laughs> oh, man. Call him a bus rider, yo. <laughs> yo, come on, man. Yo, KD be wildin'. KD be wildin', yo. Oh, man. He can't, he can't, he can't help it. <laughs> Oh. Can't help it, man. This is just funny, but I mean, I I I do agree with Charles's point. Which one? Maybe not how he said it, but which one? The one of if you're driving the bus, if you're the leader of the championship team, then your experience is different than the the, the roster on the bench. He was saying, I don't want to hear twelfth man and bench. Knife man off talking about hey we won the championship <laughs> nigga shut up <laughs> you ain't with shit sit down 
No, nah, man, I can't roll with So that. he was saying that Kevin Durant is not the driver of the bus because when it's time for him to drive, they lose. I disagree. But you can't disagree with that. It was, it was, that's, that, that's, that's a fact. fact. Yeah, that's a fact. You can't disagree with that one part. Until he does it, he hasn't done it. <sighs> Let's say in the Golden State era, he may not have been. Who was the driver of that bus, Steph? And Draymond. Undoubtedly. Those two. Undoubtedly. For me. Them yeah. fourth quarters came, that nigga KD had the ball in his hands every damn damn near every play. That don't mean that. It means a lot. It means you're the best I, player on the team. So I'm, I'm driving some buses. No. We was we was no. alternating. Tony Parker. <laughs> Tony Parker <laughs> and Manu Ginobili had the ball a lot in the Spurs dynasties. They, they, yeah, they, were, they never weren't the guy. driving the bus. They weren't they weren't KD either. They were not KD on that team. Well, nobody's KD. Right. No, I know. I'm just saying. But so we, we, nigga, you take the wheel. I'm riding back. I'm asleep when you're driving back. It depends. But kid, so let me ask you a question then. Barkley was. It don't. We don't. It don't matter because he didn't win. Because he never won. And I like. I didn't like KD's pictures that he used trying to say Barkley went and tried to team up and do the same thing. Bro, you ran, Barkley ran up with people that was past their proms. You ran he to was, the seventy three win team that just beat you last year. Yeah, it's a little it's different. different. It's a little different. He was drafted. Well, the point that Jalen Rose Barkley. made, or one of them made, was, and this is why it's just a, a, a great point. Uh, KD went from up three one to the Thunder, leaving there, going to Golden State, where he wasn't necessarily the driver of the bus, and then you wanted to leave that amazing situation. You left it. Kyrie. Uh, Cleveland, you wanted to get the fuck out of there mm-hmm. as the leader. Boston, you were the leader. You wanted to get the fuck out of there. You wanted a different leadership uh, position. You wanted to lead it yourself, do it yourself. And that's what this is. And if that was an example of you both leading, Not then y'all need a crash course. <laughs> so you can't really argue that until they do, until they do so, it. I think they need a full season before we can say if it was a bust or not. Come on, dog. That's my personal opinion. I can't, you, I can't even let that fly. Like, Bro, the nigga played 30 something games. Wow. Fam. He played 30 something games. Why did he play? Uh, it don't matter because the government put down a mandate that he couldn't play. I know. You're right, but everything is uh, cause and react, right? You're right. So, again, right. I'm not going to necessarily. It's a political conversation, bro, but I'm not going to put my potential long-term I disagree, health I disagree to with, the hazard yeah. for basketball. I disagree with all the analysts that killed Kyrie because he didn't want to get the shot. Fuck they compare him to Andrew Wiggins because Andrew Wiggins didn't want to get it, and then he got it, and look at where they're at. But no, if you don't, don't if you don't want to get the shot, then you don't have to get the shot. And look what happened. He was right. They changed all the fucking rules, mm. and now look, uh, voila, I'm eligible to play. Yes, our team don't have chemistry now, <laughs> but right. there you go. Mm. But I can play. Um, I like this rant that Kyrie went on. A lot of these media corporations make their money by degrading black, African, indigenous community heroes. They thrive off of it and then sell it back to us by having a hand-selected person or group of people spark controversy about them for the world to see. Well, what do you know? (laughs) Sounds familiar. (laughs) Just watch all the people who wake up every day and report about people's lives on TV and social media and then profit off of them. Then they justify their jobs by saying they get paid to say how they feel. LOL. It's like these people live in a fantasy. I love him, man. Round of applause. Yeah, but you know what? The other side of that fantasy, that statement, Kyrie lives in a fantasy. Because if these people don't report on you and don't pay attention to you, then if they're, if, they're, if these analysts aren't watching the NBA and the NBA is not getting this much coverage, guess what? Y'all don't make as much money. That's not true. I don't know that. Fam, if nobody is watching and who's nobody? You said analysts. I'm said, saying, yeah, analysts. no, no, the cup co- just. It's covered. If y'all get a TV deal, I should get more money. <laughs> Fans gonna watch. They got a TV deal. The analysts I play got, a part. I in got it. more money. Analysts this play plays a part in this. Analysts play a part in it. Is what but I'm saying. This plays a major part. The analysts part in are not. Are not. I'm not saying only reason or nothing like that. Oh, a, yeah, they playing a part. They, in they're that, not though. that vital to how Kyrie makes a living. Um, it's it's the same thing with every critic. Every critic. I, I, it's a I, fine I, line between yeah. criticism, like certain shit. Like I'm gonna just keep it a buck. The way Stephen A. Smith went on a tear for him all season. I don't like it. It's, it's, it's horrible, yeah, it's too my much. nigga. He too personally much. did that all season long. That shit is disgusting. Mm-hmm. Because I don't share your moral compass. Like, I put my family and my potential long-term health before basketball. 
my job that I'm in when I'm 30 something years old and not just that in basketball they'll dump you on your fucking head once you outlive your usefulness correct they don't give a fuck about me and my family long term so why would, so why would I give a fuck about them and it long term I'm saying that's anywhere fuck about no nets nigga the nets will trade that boy tomorrow absolutely so that's that was Stephen A. Smith's thing yo basketball basketball like yo you 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 letting your teammates down these teammates might not even be my teammates next season yeah I don't think Kyrie really needs to sacrifice uh, who he is for his job or the amount of money he makes. No, I'm not and saying I, and I And I think he feels that way, too. I, I don't want to... Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm, I said it wrong. It's not I'm, just you. I saw a lot of people say that. I'm him. not... But you have to understand, this comes with the territory, basically, what I'm saying. When you're in something that's popular, there's going to be critics. There's going to be criticism. That is true. And that is that comes with the popularity of the sport, the job, whatever you're doing. True. Shit, sitting here. True. Sitting in here because this show is popular, I understand that there's going to be people that's going to talk about the that's shit we say and do no matter what. That's but, true. But what you can't you, have the good without the bad. Not to saying, the level of that. I don't, I don't think what you're saying is in response to what he's saying. No, it's not. And I had a fan hit me, like, because I retweeted some of this and I was like, I love this guy. But a fan was like, I mean, I get that you love it, but could you really love it? Isn't he somewhat talking about you too? No. He's saying I, people that I tear think, him down. Like that just so No, so let's yeah, really read what he's saying. He is I'm talking to, about us. Maybe, talking I, maybe, about maybe us. I misread this. He's talking about us. We might not necessarily do that to him. He's saying that people wake up every single day. No, no, and, no stop. No, let me, let me, I, hey, I don't try not to cut you off no more, but before you finish, we not only don't do that to him, we try to not do that to people. We try. Mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. Like, we will make jokes, mm-hmm, satire, mm-hmm. cool, mm-hmm. but. In a serious, most part, in a serious we, manner, we, we don't really turn to hurt down. people's feelings, right? And that's where he's saying a lot of these media corporations make their money by degrading black, African, indigenous that's community. Okay. Stop right there. Okay. Stop right there. Okay. What I take that as is okay. as this is the business. It's like when it's that's like it. when the sports center talk about the Cowboys for X amount of blocks when there's no football. We're well, we know why we're talking about the Cowboys mm-hmm, in this A block mm-hmm, right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. Who's better, Pat Mahomes or Dak Prescott? Like that's just an example, not of what he's saying, but about why the politics about, in yeah, it and yeah, why, why we talk about, talked about certain things. They had Jerry Ky- Jones on the thumbnail for uh, uh, first take or something the other day. It's like yo, know, the Cowboys are like the twenty something pick. Like what mm-hmm. are we talking about? They unpacked that. What are the Cowboys going to do at twenty four? I said, excuse me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, man. My nigga, if you don't know. I But I'm saying, he's, so he's not, I don't think he's talking about people that share their. I, I was on a second um, tweet. Oh, the first tweet, he's a thousand percent right because mm. what they'll do is they'll tear the black people down. Mm. Then, so you don't look as if you are trying to tear the black people down, you gotta go get a black to relay the message. You understand what I'm saying? You got to go get a black person to relay the message. The message don't come off the same if Molly's saying it. Or, well, yeah. Or it, the message doesn't come off the same when they're talking about Aaron Rodgers. True. Like, you get what I'm saying? We, we, we can yeah. A, B this very easily. You, you are <laughs> like, so are. That, that's the thing. Like, yo, you got to go get a black person to do it. A hand-selected group of black people that they go get to push their message or their narrative. And then it don't come. it comes across as genuine. My nigga, he went on a crusade against this boy all season long. And I just don't think that that was cool. Yeah. Every day. All day. I don't think it was cool. He did like some academic shit. I know. You know what I'm saying? All all fucking season. He wasn't letting up. He was just on him. Yeah, he wasn't. Jay Will, Uh who I love, and he normally takes the opposite stance as Steven in some Mm -hmm. of these matters. He came Mm -hmm. out the other day and said he apologized to Ben Simmons for anything that he said on the TV. Uh, about the outfits that he chose to wear and how he's bringing attention to himself and carrying himself on the Nets bench. Uh, and he said he will never do that again. He said he has some really important private conversations. And actually to this, he said, I never want to be the guy that's tearing down my brother when they're telling you, hey, I'm going through something mentally. Right. No matter whether you believe it or not. I'm, he said, I'm see- I've am i seen enough. I know something is going on. And if there's a... Uh, uh, slither of that that's true uh-huh. then I'm not adding to that so I apologize to Ben Simmons I was like I love how Jay Will just yeah, he does. He he's the only dookie going. I love yo he ain't really <laughs> think of it that well, and Kyrie he got a point can nah. you believe Jay Will and Kyrie went to Duke and Tatum nigga they and don't Tatum they don't play I like black dookie and Zion <laughs> <laughs> and Eagle it's hard for me it's yeah. a lot of them niggas oh yo. wait 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 oh my god 
It's about to happen. What? It's about to happen. The Heat going to do it. The Heat going to clothesline that little boy I don't like on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> he won't do that to them. It don't matter. They're going to do it to him. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> They're going to clothesline that little white boy. He went, he went to Duke too, right? Grayson Allen? Grayson Allen. Grayson, Grayson, Grayson fucking Allen. <laughs> he going to get you it. You made all that noise. I'm he thinking gonna something profound. I just, remember, I just remember PJ Tucker said, he talking to niggas, yo, I don't care about your little sports parlays. You got a problem, I'll fuck you up in the street. He said something like that. So PJ Tucker's mad. Not really mad, but... He's saying, I don't care about y'all sports bets. I don't care if I fucked up your bet. Yeah, um, Come see me. Do something about it. Durant was saying that for a minute, too. Like, people been going off ever since the sports betting shit kind of, like, spread out and became super legal. Yeah, but P.J. Tucker really punched you in your face. <laughs> and now there's somebody on the other team for him to punch in the face. <laughs> well, they got to get there. P.J. Tucker punch you in they, the face. Oh, they got to get there. A yeah. few of them oh. niggas are on the heat to punch you in your face. Oh, wait. The heat is playing Philly. Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not going oh. to happen this year. Who the Bucks playing? Boston. Oh, they're not Boston. doing that. Ain't nobody. They're not doing that. Oh, fuck. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Smart. He's not doing that. He's not going to do it. Defensive player of the year. He, I'm too valuable to be missing Hey, he, he already just beat somebody up before he was drafted. It cost him some shit. Like, he ain't. He chilling. <laughs> he ain't trying to get paid. Zion Williamson says he'd <laughs> sign extension with the Pelicans. <laughs> Bet you fucking will. Good. <laughs> You know I you like want. the Pelicans, though. I you know you want Zion, yo. You don't want him now? Not now. They got a good little... It don't look like... It don't look like he gonna stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> it don't look like... Hey, man, you know... You know how good the food I'm about is to say, do all this food? I wouldn't stop eating either. <laughs> Crawfish every day. It's not butter a, me it's up. It's not a craw or a fish that is worth 40 million. He come to the Knicks. I'm taking that nigga right now. I don't know if you ever had the food done. He gonna get that tummy tuck. We're going to get that out of there. Your That's treat. Late. Your treat. Don't come bring your little overweight dunks over here thinking we're going to get excited in New York. No, you you got to be good again. No, them starless girls will get the weight right off them. Quick. Will they? Quick. <laughs> Quick, fast. He, Zion got the nerve to be, was on the bench fucking clapping and cheering for the team to try to win. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? What are we supposed to do? No, you're supposed to be on the court trying to, trying to, <laughs> trying to help him win. <laughs> He's not supposed to be clapping, smiling. Yeah, get him, B.I., C.J. McCollum. He hurt. I, we The fans was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the fans got to look like that. We might have could have got these niggas without Devin Booker. If you <laughs> He's like cheering Pelicans. in the crowd. Huh? I like the Pelicans. Word. I think word. they got nice little Y'all was rooting for them. I was rooting for them to what? I wasn't rooting for him, but I was rooting for See, him. See, why we don't talk sports this spot? Come on, y'all take us some money. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, do we got a uh, friend of the shows? Part. Yes. Part, part of, of the, the show. My bad. Part my of bad. the my show. Bad. Man, a good one, too. Part of the show, we have Christian here. Okay. What's up, Christian? I'm calling Christian. Christian says, oh, shit, did I get rid of what Christian said? Oh. Here we go. Okay. Christian says, after watching the episode with E, how is entering a relationship expecting monogamy not a form of insecurity? I'll repeat that because yeah. it sounds confusing. It does. How is entering a relationship expecting monogamy not a form of insecurity? I had to repeat that for my own. <laughs> it's like a double negative. It fucked something, me up. Something, something something happened. Happened. Yeah, it, it took a little second for me. And I still haven't completely processed because I'm not sure. I'm not I want him. I want him. I want to him to tell upon, me. Yeah. yeah. What he means. So let's call Christian. I was a hard. I can have me some fun with this one. Let's see. <laughs> I think I get the question, but I would love to hear it. I'm gonna just argue whatever the other point is. Hello. Y'all take. Hello. May may we please speak to Christian, please? This is him. Christian, what up? Christian, how you doing? What? This is the Joe Button Podcast. Yo, What's yo. What's up, y'all? How you doing? All right. we, we couldn't be better. We're a little confused by your question, so we need you to expound. You say, sure. after watching the episode with Imani, how is entering a relationship expecting monogamy not a form of insecurity? Expound, please. Um, I was wondering because, you know, the the idea of, of entering into a monogamous relationship, if you are assuming that, that if that person has to be monogamous with you, why are you why are you asking for that? Why is that? something that you need and is that a lack of trust is that an issue and so that was kind of where i was coming from with the back and forth between 
when when Amani was on that episode and just like kind it. of that assumption it. with monogamy. Um, because when you think about it, right, like the whole idea to tell someone that if you want to be in a relationship with me that has intimacy involved, that has going out to dinner involved, that has shopping involved, that has all these different um, layers involved. And the only way that you can do that with me is if you don't fuck other people. That to me is an insecurity on the person's end that's forcing that on that person. If the person wants to be open, why is, if a person's at, why is it an, an, an why is it an insecurity to you instead of a boundary? Well, no, that's what I'm. That's what that's exactly what I was getting at. So for me, ask for that boundary, but don't force it. And I think that forcing it is a sign of insecurity. If you let if you layer it as a boundary, that's different. I think they're one and the same. I think a boundary is just a cuter word. Huh. Huh. I understand your point. I think you want to go first. No, I I think you asked. It's a bunch of um parts to your question. One of them, I think that we've just been taught to do what our parents told us mm-hmm. was right, or what the government or what society just, has told sorry. us is right. Yeah, so if your parents wasn't faithful, yo. Because if, if you grew up in a if you grew up in a a a Mormon household they don't look at it the same. If you grow up in an Islamic household, they don't necessarily look and view everything the same as we've been taught in America under our quote unquote Christian ideology. Um, So I think that most people kind of force that because that's trained behavior. Like, yo, you should only be with me. And if you're not with me, then that means you don't love me. I think that's something that just was taught to us. Um, I don't see it as an insecurity though. Even though I get your point. Um, I think that it's a choice. I think that when two people get together and they communicate what their expectations are or they should communicate what their expectations are, you decide on how far you want to go in this relationship if you want to move forward or not. You can't just assume that because you think a boyfriend-girlfriend situation means monogamous that the other person mm-hmm. is going to think that. I think that's a conversation that needs to be had amongst the two people. Yeah. And I think I think part of two where I was coming from also was I think if I remember correctly with that episode, one of the parts of the back and forth was that the woman is um, like you, you all were talking about whether or not a man can bring insecurity to a woman. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was saying from my end that the fact that Iman would the, the fact that anyone has to sit there and say the words that, um, hey, look, you can't like none of my if me and you had any sort of relationship, none of my boys can talk to you. None of my boys can date. you. None of my boys can go out with you. And I'm saying that I think that that inse- that comes from an insecure place. And so I think that if a woman says that a man or it, honestly, I'm gay. So it's like any relationship, right, for that matter. Gotcha. Any type of relationship where the person says that you cannot be around my boys or that that person comes in and says that that. I got scars from this person. I think that all comes from insecurity. And part of that insecurity is forcing a way of life on someone that they may not want. And that's where I think the, there's a difference between boundary and kind of the insecure side of it. Because if your reason, if you're upfront from the beginning and you place those boundaries, then there's no need to be insecure. If those things aren't clear or you felt forced, then scars can be created from that. In my opinion, that come from a relationship that didn't that didn't have the communication foundation to begin with. So there were a couple of different reasons why I asked that question based on where that conversation y'all were having was going. Um, but I just think it relates to all relationships because I can say that I'm in a healthy one now, but I did gain scars from previous ones and I brought those scars into my current relationship, but we were able to communicate, talk through them and set boundaries that works for the two of us. And not I just, just thought person. that... Yeah, yeah just not just the, Go ahead, sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. Just not, not just one person. Y'all had to talk about uh, what best suits both of you. Yeah, or where exactly. where your ideals lie, and both of you. Like there are swingers here. There are people in open relationships. Right here. What's up? <laughs> 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 no, nah, I think that. Um, but that's true. No, listen, we we joking, but I can't call a woman insecure because she is not with me swinging. Right? I have to find someone who. It's okay is, with that. Comfortable. Though. Okay with yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's all communication. Yeah. Like it's I all it's, it's all, all communication. communication because what happens a lot of times is there are assumptions made. Mm-hmm. Because we're in this relationship, 
you're supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. I might not want to do that. Based on how you were raised yeah, or what you yeah. believe. And there's Societal also assumptions shit. based on Societal where the shit. relationship is even at. You know what I mean? You could still be intimate with someone, sleeping with someone, whatever, for a long period of time, and y'all don't necessarily agree that this is a relationship, True. let alone a monogamous, monogamous one. True. And I, even there, because of the lack of communi- communication, one person can think because we're intimate and doing X, Y, and Z, we are in a relationship and we are in a monogamous relationship. I th- but I get you, though. Like, if you love, if you're a girl and you love me, then I love her. Then why wouldn't you want me to love her <laughs> if you love me? Because <clears throat> that's yeah, the premise I, and of I just, I just also think it's really possible for a person to, and I think you agreed with this sentiment, Joe, of like, there is a way, people do have the ability to create new insecurities into another person. I'm not saying that Definitely. that that person may have not been insecure to start with. I'm not saying that um cuz I think there's aspects of all of us that we have insecurity on. It could be something as small as like, you know, I got big hands. Like anything that small that can be an insecurity can be exaggerated if not a big, person big hands is the move. Christian, let me ask you <laughs> let me ask you a question. Yeah. Sure. Do you think you're an attractive guy? Yeah. If a million people told you you're unattractive, you think you're going to start to believe it? Yes. Really? Uh, well, so here's the thing, So right? did you really I believe you were attractive be... to start with? Or are you saying that because yeah, well, it's politically correct? Oh, you can question your own thought, though. Yeah. Uh, my, yeah. Qu- my question was... And I think uh, that comes from... So uh, to kind of give more context to that, right? I used to be... Of, like when I was in high school, I was a really, really heavy guy. Mm-hmm. And I got heavier my freshman year of college. Gotcha. And so me... I didn't realize and like until towards the end of like my freshman year of college that I was at a very unhealthy weight. Mm -hmm. And so I did everything that I could to get out of that. And I am in a much, I'm, I'm, I deem myself a much better looking guy. I have, um, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm a much healthier person now, but I still at times see, and honestly, my partner will probably, my boyfriend will probably tell you, I see it more often than I think is I still see the old me, when I look in the mirror, sometimes I have those days where I have my, my, my insecurities pop up. I have those days. So if somebody was to tell me, if a million people tell me that, and I still have those small moments where I see my old self, that million people that just told me that I'm ugly, it's going to manifest itself into something bigger. Because but of they're what confirming a self-doubt that you already possessed. They're not implanting that there. You just said that you already had that. You already had a self-doubt. So all they're doing is making that existing self-doubt grow. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about giving you a brand new insecurity on something that you didn't already possess. But in your same example, that could still be true. What if I never had this thought and I only have it because a million people said it to me? So now I'm pondering. Yeah, but if I It doesn't have to be a million people. It could just be the one person that you actually give a fuck about. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just see that's what yeah, we, we, we know. Before. We know. So, quite look, with regards to your uh, your your question about monogamy, mm-hmm. where, where do you correlate the monogamy with the insecurity? Because we were kind of tripped up on it for a minute. Yeah, I was equating it to when basically when Imani was saying that, like when when you all were just talking about the fact that none of my friends can talk to her, right? Because we had we had a relationship in the past. That was an insecurity. Of course. And to me, I'm looking at that like, so you either this girl, either this woman created that insecurity within you that none of your boys can now touch her or a previous girlfriend from a past cheated on you or did something to you that caused this insecurity. So now moving forward in every relationship that you have, if that relationship ends, no other men can touch her. Or – or you're insecure around your friends. Period. You might be competing right. with your friends silently, and you think these guys measure up better than you do, and that's your own insecurity. You might be having a silent competition, which a lot of people do. Guys and girls will have silent competitions with yeah. their friend group. And because of that, mm-hmm. I won't allow that yeah. insecurity to even get to my girl. I'm going to exactly. have this talk. Yo, don't mm-hmm. talk to him. Don't yeah. talk to him. Yeah, don't yeah. fuck him. I agree. These are my friends. Leave them alone. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. I get what you're and then, saying. so that that leads to my question then. So if I enter a re- if every relationship that I enter into going forward, I have this mindset right here, mm-hmm. where I already have I'm already insecure around my boys. I'm already um, so I you know you, I kind of keep her close to the knee, or close to the tuck, and I know that if she moves on, I'm still going to keep her close to the tuck. I'm not going to want anyone to touch her. You're automatically entering that relationship insecure. 
and you're not looking for ways to better it. And so you're forcing monogamy onto this girl because you're of your own personal insecurities. I agree. So every relationship that you enter into after that then becomes, I'm forcing you to be monogamous with me because of my insecurity, not because I'm creating a boundary, because a boundary requires communication. And if you're going into the relationship with, the, with that mindset already, then that's an insecurity. That's not a boundary to me. A boundary does not require communication. I can have a boundary and not tell anybody. That just means you don't know my boundary. But the other person doesn't have to adhere to it if they don't know about it. That don't mean it don't exist. True, true, true. No, yeah, you're right. That's what I'm saying. All right, listen, Christian, I think we have a better understanding. Hopefully, we were able to help you in our mm -hmm. understanding. And we appreciate the call, man. Thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate y'all. Have a wonderful day. I was actually have... in the middle of watching that surf episode y'all just uploaded. Too. Hey! hey. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, Christian, have a good weekend, bro. You too. Peace, man. Later. Bye. I get it. No, yeah. I, I understand. Yeah. I understand. I, 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 don't, I don't like when we blame some of our... Let's talk about Christianity, yo. Like, <laughs> honest. <laughs> Let's really unpack. <laughs> Let's really unpack. Look, look, look. Don't get Corey started. Uh, man, no, there's no... Let me shut up. Let me shut up, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little nuts. It is? No, I, I think... Um, Never mind, man. Oh boy. Now, when they be having relationship talks, like, I just don't like how sometimes you heard we said, like, yo, you could have got hurt in the past or somebody did something to you in the past. Uh -huh. or we always blame another motherfucker for, and sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. Yeah, but, a lot of times yo, you, you, you've had. A lot had, of times it's, it's still It's still us, internal. Like, and you've had great relationships. Uh -huh. You've had bad relationships. I've mm -hmm. had great why relationships the, that end the bad. Why the fuck And the bad part dwell? is what. See, look. But just we, that fast. To that point that you making or sound like you making, we get back to what I was trying yes, to say to did. Ice yep. about liking yep. and not liking songs. Just forget the songs part. Oh no, I thought I've had relationships that I liked, and from that I pulled what I liked from that. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, I kind of knew what I liked because mm -hmm. what I went through, and the same with what I didn't like. So you're able to identify it moving forward. Mm -hmm. You have to. I think you have to be able to do that with everything with life. that you like yeah. and with don't life. like, just so you know. You can meet a girl, uh -huh. and she can have attributes of somebody that you despised. Uh -huh. And immediately, when you identify it in her, exit you're stage left. Absolutely. I'm gone. Agreed. Absolutely. Look, this is not going to work. I appreciate it. And it may be an unfair uh, correlation. Well, I'm good. Yeah. I don't want to read. See, I don't right. think it's unfair. I think I, that's it's not just, unfair. I think yeah, it's human I think nature. It's I think it's I, instinctual I, for mm -hmm. humans to do that, right? I think like, it's smart. If we walk on this block, hey, when we came on this block and Ish got arrested, the next mm. 20 times we came on this block, that was a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there that, might be a cop up the street. There might be. Right. If somebody get in a car accident, I used to be insensitive to this, but now I totally get it. Somebody getting like a life altering car accident, now they scared to get in your car. When mm -hmm. you slam on the brakes, they jump. Yeah, or not, they be in the passenger side, they jump. Not only that, you watch somebody that's been in a, like a certain type of accident, like a T bone intersection accident. They drive through intersections a lot differently. They do. Yeah. You watch yeah. the entire the way they drive their car. I see this shit all the time. Y'all know I'm always on the road. Mm -hmm. You, I can tell. Just I don't even flip you ain't out. Got no a home phone number, young. <laughs> but no, you just Apple Watch. You could, you could no tell. Like, you could sit there and look and be like, "Yo, I could tell this person got uh, something from a car coming around them this way or something." Like when I'm in Newark on them number blocks, I I, I hit the four way intersection different because yeah. I've seen the, the stolen cars hit them shits and go nuts. So I be stop. It ain't even no stop sign there. I proceed with oh, caution. Yeah. I've told y'all I've heard stories from women that that sleep with the lights on, and you're like, "Well, why do you do that?" And then. And then a gruesome story comes, mm -hmm. and, and it's like, like, oh, oh, sorry. Well, I can't tell you to never sleep Word. With, Word. with the lights Definitely. out, definitely. Because I get that. Yeah, <laughs> I even yeah, understand. I just think it's instinctual. Yeah, I, I it think is. Um, when some people don't want people strangers around their kids, like some people don't play that. Some people don't play. You're not spending the night at anybody's house. Mm -hmm. You're not staying over anybody's house. It's a lot of people that don't play that shit. Yeah. That comes from somewhere. Sure does. You follow me? Like yeah. that comes from something that they've experienced or, or somebody close to them has experienced. Exactly. Or you just like, see, like, with, with a situation like that, you see this shit every five minutes. No, there's some other shit going on. Now. You're right. I'm just saying, you see, like, nah, I can't. I don't want, I would, but wouldn't want to put my child but through I, I, I We kind of made a, a comeback to what the, the shit that Joe got in hot water over. Yo, why don't we do this? Because we tend to, as human beings, we focus on the negative. 
So if you had a bad breakup with somebody in the past, right? They did some fuck shit to you. Uh huh. But they also did some good shit to you. Or right. you wouldn't have been in a relationship with them. But you But every single time somebody surfaces, you gotta focus on the negative shit. You gotta so don't say, yo, that nigga took my credit from a four eighty to a seven eighty and now I own six businesses because of that nigga. You don't say that. You'll be like, yo, that nigga cheated on me with my sister. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. even though the sister shit is a little rough and traumatic, but <laughs> I not exaggerate. If the sister is the person that forced me into opening these nine businesses. But you get what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> yeah, you gotta wait. The same thing that we just tend to focus on the negative shit. And Christian yeah. is like, yo, well, maybe you got hurt in the past, or maybe you got this in the past, but maybe you had a great experience in the past, and you're gonna say, yo, I'm gonna go into this optimistically that it's not gonna end up like that. Right. Like we pick and choose what we are, where we want our brains to go. Oftentimes, for sure. So that's I, I don't know. Your sleeper time. Get some R and B dope shit off my <laughs> segue, yo. Um, is it sleeper time? I just want uh, Elon Musk wants to put cocaine back in Coca Cola. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's just having fun with this shit, man. That's uh, the, <laughs> he said he was buying see, Facebook to delete that's, it. It's a joke, man. Yeah. Or is it? I don't know it to be a joke. <laughs> He said he wanted to go to Mars. People ha, ha, ha. People, he's, yeah, yeah. He's building spaceships, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we might be getting high next week off the soda. People mask the truth in jokes. So I don't think he really wants to put cocaine back in Coca-Cola, but I also don't think that his Twitter purchase is just about free speech. I don't either. I think that's a crowd of shit. No, there's, there's I wish I were wealthy enough to really I, understand I was what's what was happening. I don't know what's happening. Bro, this or this smart enough. I don't think it's a dig that deep. I think it's a political play. I told y'all what I thought. Like this is world altering shit right here, bro. I am now. This makes me one of the powerful people, most powerful people in the world. Us ground level people don't even know what the political play is. Be that's that's well, my thing. We know it's a political play, but to what degree? That we don't know. You're right. It might be an egotistical thing. Like Zuckerberg and them get more oomph kinda than him because they control information. He don't control information now. He does. Man, I'm we, pretty like, sure that again, Tesla's is kicking back some data. It's not about the money. Nah, I know. It's I'm just not about the money. No, no, no you know I'm just saying. saying we, we just saw them come out uh, allegation. I don't know what's true or not, but about Facebook fucking swaying elections. Uh huh. You get what I'm saying? So that's now, cool. if I can buy me that's a okay. company, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the play. My man and I and I, me and you could have a conversation. I don't know if you want to d- jump into it. My man calls me this morning uh-huh. and he's talking about it. Y'all warm up at the third hour. Go ahead. And he says, yo, um, I think it's a bad thing because if you take the Trump election and all of the information that people can now put up there with no censorship, um, it it becomes a slippery slope. And I said, you're right. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of misinformation could come up there. Mm -hmm. But this is also potentially giving a voice to the voiceless. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times the people that don't have resources are voiceless. So let's just say hypothetically the powers that be did some fuck shit. Uh Uh-huh. They can censor you. We've seen it since we've been around. Uh-huh. Like if a big company did some bullshit to somebody's family members, they can silence that person. Right. If he opens up a platform without censorship, it now potentially gives a voice to the voiceless. Potentially, but do you trust that he? What if I don't know him? See, and that's well, I don't know. You know him. What if he? What if he just starts censoring all free, the shit they say about free, him? Free I speech know. becomes his definite. I now control right. free speech. I don't bro. know him. That makes know. me more powerful than the rest. I don't care what country you talk. I'm more powerful than that country. I control free speech. It's mine. He don't because he's only one platform. I'm just saying, what if we just, it's all hypothetical because we but don't know. But he's one person who owns it. He doesn't have to answer to yes. a board. He doesn't True. have to answer to I could wake up tomorrow and shareholders. say, shareholders. Oh, anti Tesla, get that shit. Off. Yeah, you don't have anything. To. Yeah, whatever. Whatever the fuck I want to. But if you don't like the way he's running this platform, you don't have to fuck with it. It's easy to say when. Look at the platform. You don't have to fuck with it. You do not have to fuck with a Twitter. There was something after a Twitter, before Twitter. Twitter, Twitter literally changed the world in I the would. terms of information being delivered. It, it literally turned every I agree. user into its own news network. I agree. It's a lot of shit. All these police shootings and all that. If it wasn't for Twitter, they, they ain't just start. True. I and that, people and recording and putting that information out. And that is the voiceless having a voice. Look but at now, what Sean King has been able to do from social media. Sean King has lended a hand to people that could have potentially never got their story out and got justice from him pushing the narrative on his platform because his platform reached so many people. 
some of those people would have never gotten justice had it not been for that. See, I say you take it a, uh, even a step further. You know, we got that crisis going over in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's happening. We yet. do not. We've heard one side. We've heard one side. That's where this, to me, that's that's, that's the powerful. That's powerful. Part. I didn't want to bring that up, but that's where now. Happens. Yeah, you get the the people over there that's tweeting. What's really happening on the ground? Mm-hmm. You can see that now. Mm-hmm. It might not be what what we were told. Not I'm not saying it is or isn't. I'm just giving an example that mm-hmm. you don't know what's going on. But now when you I open this up, I'm a little bit more powerful because that is true. this country might have suppressed certain shit. Mm-hmm. Might not let only get our side out. Like I, we've heard stories of CNN reporting one way, but people over there saying, dog, it ain't like that. Nah, when you call people and you got friends that live in France or you got friends that live in England or you got friends that live in Portugal and Spain and they are telling you what they're seeing on their news outlets, it is totally different than what we are yeah. seeing on our news outlets. Totally different story sometimes. This changed the propaganda game because now you got so one person at the head of that. Send, yeah. Now we, I control the propaganda game. Not even. Or I just give a a, a even voice to both parties. If you, if you want to. Truly if want you truly to. want to. Possibly. One thing he said, he said... um, this purchase of Twitter, he said, be clear. This is going to upset the right just as much as it's going to upset the left. I'm go. not playing either side. He said, I'm actually looking for that 80% in the middle. That's not true. That's his definition of the middle, though. So yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. His I know. definition I know. I know. of right and left. So. I know. I know. If, if Facebook and Twitter and a few other places implemented their hate speech uh, protocol for the right wing people, and then you come out and say, um, all right, this is a private thing and free speech is important for everybody. So the left people, the right people, everybody can do what they want, but it's only one side that's hateful. <laughs> then why wouldn't that piss off the left? Because the left may not be as hate- and this I'm just answering you. I'm, I'm not in disagreement with you. It's like saying these people are violent, right? Uh-huh. And they're saying hateful shit. We don't necessarily go down that road, but we can spit out other information that may be as damaging, just not in the same way. Or we can put out other information that could sway audiences, just not in the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, we could fight differently. We don't have to necessarily fight in the same manner as them, but we could fight effectively nonetheless. One is just harsher. You got it. You get what I'm saying? Or no, no, I understand what you're I saying. I might not have worded it. No, right I understand exactly Yeah, like, so... If, if if I'm giving equal opportunity or fuck that some jokers on the left might want to start throwing mud too mm-hmm. some of the motherfuckers need to get a little tougher punk asses I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> that, that, it's just equal opportunity it's just, it, as, it's as long as he as long as he's truly legitimate and yeah, saying, that's what it. saying I that's think it. that's uh, utopianistic Utopianistic, sure. like, oh, this guy will make it p- completely fair and normal. It's just a person. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than the person. It comes into funding, though. See, I think it comes into funding with everything else, with all the news media outlets, even probably here, right? Mm-hmm. Money is behind most shit. Uh-huh. So the advertisers and whomever are funding the shit, uh-huh. because he bought it, but he has to still get his money back some way, some shape, some form. Mm-hmm. That talks. Whoever's mm-hmm. giving you money now has a stake yeah. mm-hmm. in how the, the the news is conveyed. Yeah. So there, I don't, like yeah. I don't think there would be a bunch of eighty percenters. Bingo. Yeah. I don't think there would be a bunch of eighty percenters trying to give democracy. you a hundred million dollars or fifty million dollars as Welcome an investment. Welcome to America. You got to have an agenda. Most of the reason why it's you fake. can't go to the doctor. Medicine costs a bazillion dollars. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I digress. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm watching. Shall. I'm keep my. I have a open. good. I have a strong feeling that not much will change. Hi, right, man. I'm gonna have to go see who's at bar number five today. <laughs> <laughs> when this record comes, <laughs> I just gotta go see, man. Just a little peep. Yeah, yeah, just a little man. peep. Little peep. Just the one. Got a couple leftover singles from last night, man. <laughs> hey. All right, man. This was great. This was fun. This was cool. <laughs> If y'all try to cancel me on the weekend, just know I'm not looking at the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out. I'm busy. Yeah, you got to pick your cancel date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they were smart. They tried to get me on like a Wednesday. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I got to look at the phone. 
Don't cancel me on no Wednesday. Yeah. Thursday. That's the only way to do it. Oh, yeah, nice, it was a Thursday. A nice weather weekend? Yeah, they canceled me on the day I was off. So I was like, just cruising, chill. I was like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I wish I was occupied. Damn it, they got me. <laughs> Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. I bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir, so long, goodbye, and all that good stuff. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Hey, Nah, this is hard, yo. This is hard. <laughs> hey, Ice. Yo, that evil take is going to age so bad. <laughs> it is the take that that take is gonna, that take you is take gonna it. age that huh that take is gonna age bad. But not know what Ice does? He cheats because he come in and say I was wrong. I was wrong. That's not cheating. That's not cheating. Uh, yes, it is. No, That's, it's not. What is it? The way I felt tomorrow might not be the way I felt today. See, so you always got. That's out. cheating. That's a scapegoat. It's out. not cheating. I, might, I don't gotta feel. I, I don't have to marry to that opinion. I might start adapting that, yo. Nigga, you don't you change. Don't not, you? Don't you? Not the next day. I'm not saying the next day. You said it's gonna age terribly. So let's say we would visit your views. Take prime example. Killed you. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I never said views was better or worse than something. I just said it was uninspired. Nigga, you called out trash. And then a few years later, I was hey, you some slap, some slap. It was uninspired. Yeah, like, you I said it was some... sweating and screaming on that shit, bro. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Park scream like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I am a pirate. I. <laughs> 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 yeah. My secret's out. I'm a pirate. Uh, I don't tell you. <laughs> Yo, we gone, man. We hope everybody has a safe weekend. Cock that back. <laughs> <laughs> he delivered, yo. Kendrick. <laughs> the pressure's on, but guess who ain't going to crack? Yeah, I don't think I'm not too worried not about that. on at all. <laughs> <laughs> Kendrick better give me a girl record now. I need a girl record on there. Okay. Hey. All right, I did the outro already. We could just go. Even if they're not girl records, the girls are going to like them, so. Yeah, no, no, that's not true. He had the girls' bad ones on. Which one? When he said, uh, show me something natural. Yeah. I'm so sick and tired uh, of the Photoshop. Oh, they was hot. They was on his ass for a minute. I know. Nobody asked them how they think we feel that they keep Photoshopping things. Because <laughs> they don't do it for us. It's true, it's true. Yo, guess what, y'all? <laughs> Yo, check yeah, this out. You. We are out of here. Enjoy your weekend. I never thought hey, about that way. I free, see. free speech, free rights for everyone. <laughs> Thanks to Elon. L- live for you. Go get you some cocaine and cola. <laughs> live for you and no one else. Living your truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Living your truth, man. Just don't tell it. Living your truth. We going, man. Y'all hold it down. Same time, same place next week. We're going to learn some little baby songs and get popping. Huh? I'm gonna learn some little baby songs and get popping. There you go. Now you're talking. <laughs> Just don't do that and then call a bobcat a nigger. <laughs> That's, I, I, hello? Yeah, you know what? We can't talk about nothing. On this I'm out of here. <laughs> Enough of daddy.